they play in the playoffs, they're going to be underdogs, right? And when that happens, when you are go up against a team like Boston, for example, we know the demons that exist there, even yeah. Florida, um, yeah. who, like, frankly, manhandled the Leafs uh, in the last three games of, of the last round, yep. uh, the playoffs. Yeah, I, I, I think, and that's why there was such an emphasis on the players that, that Brad Tree Living did acquire. Yeah. You're going to need Connor Dewar to be one of the team's best penalty killers. Yep. You're going to need the best version of Joel Edmondson, right? Frankly, you're going to need the absolute best version of Austin Matthews as well. And that's why that leads into my question. Just a minute. Let me, let, oh, me, let oh. me, a supplemental yes guy, no guy. Okay. Because of what you just said and okay. how I set you up to say that, Actually, a lot of this is on Coach Sheldon Keith because he's got to find and know when to switch those combos around a la Scotty Bowman. I have nothing to add to that. It's, I'm, I'm not going to get in the way of that that, that kind of assessment. That's, that's what it's going to take. It's yeah. going to take everything from everybody. Uh, yes guy, no guy number two. Are you confident Austin Matthews can have his best playoff run to date? Absolutely. Yes, guy. Emphatically. In fact, all capital letters. If I could get it on the scoreboard right now without some sort of trademark infringement, I would. Yeah. He's, Why? Got, he's got the ability because it's time. Yeah. But a lot of these things, you know, when you, you do the analysis, you, you plug in the history lesson. Same with Boston. Well, it's never. You know what? At some point it turns. It has to. It certainly does feel like this. This playoff run has the feel of if not now, then then when or if not now, maybe never. Right. right? It's, yeah. It certainly has that feeling. And now that's a strange thing to say. I understand because Austin Matthews has a number of more years. William Nylander has a number of more years on their contracts. Right. This. Yeah. This, this, this They're not going anywhere. No. But it, it feels, at least when we're talking about Sheldon Keefe, if we're talking about most, if not all, of the surrounding pieces, it feels like a last stand in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, and that's why it'll be so fascinating to watch Austin Matthews because he knows that too. He's aware of everything that's going on around him. If he can propel this team in the way a, a, a Nate McKinnon has, in the way an Alex Ovechkin has, completely changes the narrative around him. Totally agree. Yes guy, no guy. Recent play is cause for concern. Yes guy, of course. <laughs> like you didn't, I, you didn't see the look he just gave me. No, wow. Like, well, wow. Of, of, okay. Of course. Yeah. Like you know, even even if we get micro with this, the first two periods they played against Edmonton were some of their best hockey they've played all season. Yep. And then they let Edmonton back into the game. Well, which is classic, right? Right. Yeah. So it's not as if they're they put together a string of results that say this team looks ready for the playoffs. Like that's kind of the the big overarching yes guy, no guy. Does this team look ready for the playoffs? Yeah. I think that's. Not yet. I think, quite frankly, that's how Yes Guy No Guy was created. Was it really? I think so. Oh, the origin story. I okay, love it. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, of course there's cause for concern. I think you look up and down the lineup, and, and this is going to lead into my next question. You have questions every single position right now. Oh, yeah. And, and a lot of teams do. Yeah. But the good teams don't with 10 ish games left in the playoffs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so that leads into my next question Yes Guy No Guy. The starting goalie in game one for the Toronto Maple Leafs is still up for debate. Yes, guy, it is. Okay. Yes, guy, emphatically it is. Uh, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me who it is because the odds of that person starting the series and playing all six or seven games is not very good. Nil. Yeah. Yeah, it's that, that gets back to my they're going to need everybody. I, I wouldn't even count out Martin Jones at some point if they go deep. He's one of the wild cards on this roster right now. He is. Right? I, I, I think it's interesting the way that the Leafs are preparing their goaltenders right now. This is the first time in a long time that Martin Jones is not backing up. I understand Elias Samsonov had a bit of a, a an injury scare there. Yeah. Also feels like every week we're dealing with an Elias Samsonov possible injury scare. Yes. Um, look, I, it wouldn't surprise me if we're talking about two different starters between game one and game three. Right? Yeah. I, I still don't... I still don't think the coaching staff knows who's going to be the game one starter. I wouldn't anoint anybody at, in any position on at any part of this roster as this is the way we're going to go. So how do you feel about that? The idea that the, the decision could come down to those final two games. The Leafs' final two games are against Florida and Tampa on the road. That That's that's a wow. back-to-back. Yeah. Theoretically, you're going to see a split there. Well, yeah, but those games could mean nothing. Unless you're talking about who is proving that they're ready to take the reins and goal. Yeah, I, I think you would have made up your mind by then, but 
Why? Uh, why would? Why? Why do we assume like it? Well, if those games mean nothing to Tampa and Florida, then you know who cares? It, it's it's a meaningless game for for half the uh, the players on the ice. Yeah, I find it's very. I find anytime any like a team plays Toronto, it's very rarely meaningless for them. Um, for Tampa, you could be fighting to get into that third well, spot. You, you could be. I think those two games are are when we could say who's got the hottest hand right now. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't if it doesn't c- continue on into game one, which which is uh, going to be on the road anyway. Yeah, no goalie is none of the goal. N- neither of the goalies, excuse me, are are have really grabbed the bull uh, by I'm, the horns. I'm comfortable with all three. I just don't know how much you're going to lean on any one of them. Here's my theory on the goaltenders, and you tell me if I'm crazy, and I feel like I'm setting myself up for you to say just I, that. I, I want to answer right now. Yeah. So <laughs> I think you're better off starting Elias Samsonov, and here's why. If you start Joseph Wall, considering everything Elias Samsonov has had to battle through this year, mentally especially, if you start him, you risk losing Samsonov mentally. You, oh, you okay, I see what you say. So, yeah. so well, that's why you start Samson. I, I know, but that's not a reason to start him. I mean, he's, he's got, to, got to have this big boy pants on. You can't do that. I, I also don't think Joseph Wall has played enough this season. As, as big of a backer as I, I, I am. I mean, I would start Samson, but not for that reason. Because I, I would believe that, that he's the best opportunity to win game one. And I would leave it at that. Yeah. I, I, there's no projection over it's, who's, who's going to carry this thing. Frankly, I think it's a different conversation. Who should start game one versus in a game seven? Who gives you the absolute oh. best chance to win? Yeah. That's where it gets tricky because yeah. I think that might be Joseph Wall's game. Could be. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with that. Yes guy, no guy. I don't know. Did we solve anything? No, but I love the conversation. That's okay. what's important. It's okay. the company you keep. It's the friends you make along the way. Okay, guy. You the, should have seen the face you made there. <laughs> it's the journey. <laughs> Who is this guy? Um, yes, guy, no guy. The Leafs should be very worried about Tampa Bay. The Leafs should be in, in the sense that they could steal their spot. Yeah. I'd say no guy to that. I don't think you worry about what any other team is going to do. Because you're going to, like we said, you're going to play Florida or Boston no matter what. Yeah. I don't think the Leafs are worried. And so no guy, I don't think they should be worried. What what does that change? Thinking about what Tampa's going to do, how does that change or improve your position? How does that change or improve your game? Well, I mean, they're not going to think about it this way, but, but certainly... Uh, fans of the team would say, well, we, for five years we've been trying to do this, and Tampa just knows where the switch is. Every year they just flick it, and away they go. Yeah, that's the benefit of experience. But it doesn't change who you're going to play. You're going to start the playoffs on the road. So you can start preparing for that however you want. And frankly, I don't think that's the worst thing either for the Leafs is to start the, the playoffs on the no, road. No, no. Ralphie will back you up on that one. Okay, well, good. And as long as Ralphie backs me up, I feel like I've done my job for the day. But Ralphie's a good backup. <laughs> I really set you up for that one. You did. Oh. <laughs> well, I just don't see what, what Tampa, the way Tampa's playing, I don't see how that should have any effect on the Leafs right now. Uh, you have just, so Just another holes. team to worry about. Well, you're not going to worry about anybody else. You're going to worry about yourself. You are, you are correct. Yeah. Yes, guy, no guy, number four for me. Max Domi is the best fit to play beside Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner in game one. Oh, I'm going to say no guy. So I meant to get into this earlier. Okay. I mean, you're. I, I agree with you offensively. But when you're starting on the road in a playoff series, don't you want to match up defensively? I mean, I, I don't see that line matching up as, as a, a defensive matchup for anybody. No, and I, I, I don't know if Sheldon Keith is, has designs on doing that. I don't know if you want to – waste is the wrong word, but I don't know if, if you want to utilize – Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner in a defensive kind of matchup. I, I mean, you're going to have. You, you, I could, you, first of all, you know he's trending towards, and he, Sheldon Keith, you know he's trending towards building a fourth line, a, a, a nothing line that will give you nothing offensively. Yeah. David Camp, yeah. Uh, Connor Dewar, whoever yeah. else he decides yeah. there, that's going to be a defense only line. Sure. And frankly, yeah. the way things are trending, that third line, Bobby McMahon, um, you know, Pontus Holmberg, perhaps, that feels like more of an energy line that is yeah. going to be focused on defense as well. I just think that uh, if you're down 2-1 in game one, or it doesn't matter what, what game it is in a playoff series and you need a goal, I would definitely throw over the boards Matthews, Marner, and Domi. It really? Al- it, if you it, needed a goal. I, well, I mean, I think Austin Matthews and, and Mitch Marner both are better defensively than I think a lot of people give them credit for. So you kind of balance things out there if you have Max Domi on the line because I think we're at a point now where we can acknowledge Max Domi can sometimes hurt the Leafs defensively. Well, yeah, but you know, you're also looking for some physical. I mean, he does he does agitate. 
but Bertuzzi's a better fit physically on that line, don't you think? I, I think if he were, I think Sheldon Keefe would have tried that by now. I, I'm, I think we're we're closing the door on that. For me, because he's had a lot of opportunity to put, put Tyler Bertuzzi on that line, I, I don't think it's going to be a fit. I don't. I think if he he wanted that to happen, he would have tried it in February. Not going to happen, guy. Okay, guy. I'm, I'm a little confused <laughs> on all of that. Do we have another one? No, you should have another one. Guy. Yeah. Okay. Yes, guy. No, guy. Edmondson already missed. For sure, guy. Yeah. I think Edmondson has become a, in a very short amount of time, a vitally important player on this team. His playoff experience, his cup winning experience, is something this team has sorely lacked with Jake McCabe, or sorry, with Jake Muzzin. Excuse me. Yeah. Gone. I, I, right. That's that's he a perfect is so perfect so compar comparable vital, and yeah. you can just you can tell the way players talk about him. He's already revered because he's been there. It's there's just a, a calm, a, a, a paternal calm that he brings. Okay, a paternal calm. I didn't know that we would get there, but nonetheless, we did. Uh, we'll set up the opening faceoff for you next. This is Leafs Game Night Live from Scotiabank Arena on TSN 1050, the iHeart Radio app, and the Leafs Radio Network. Do you love deli meat but are careful about your sodium intake? Try new Schneider's Deli Meat with the delicious taste you've come to expect from Schneider's. Now with 25% less sodium than regular deli meats. They're crafted in Canada using only Schneider's premium cuts of meat and they're an excellent source of protein. Try all five new deli meats including smoked black forest ham and herb turkey from Schneider's. Trusted by Canadians for over 130 years. Brand power helping you buy better. And now it's time for our Subaru weather report. So, Harold, what's it looking like? Jim, we can expect more thunderstorms as the evening approaches, and then overnight... Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, can I get uh, two number sixes with a side of curly fries? Hold the onions, please. Yeah. Uh, Harold, are you in the drive-thru right now? Jim, no one listens to this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, great. Weather reports don't matter when you drive a Subaru. Visit your local Subaru dealer today and book a test drive during the all-weather drive event. Hi, Anthony Longo here. At Longo's, we put as much care into our products as you do into family meals. So this Easter, we recommend our AAA boneless strip loin roasts and steaks, naturally aged for at least 21 days, so you're getting the most tender beef around. You'll Find see why 68 Years in the Biz makes us Ontario's favorite grocery store. And, and just in time for Easter, the these top-selling AAA roasts and steaks are an this unbelievable 30% off. You can smell. For the quality that meets your family standards, trust our Longos. Find your Easter meal for less at Walmart with our guaranteed lowest advertised success on selected Easter meal essentials. Like your grease, milk, bone, and ham. Now the only one thirty-seven per pound. Most vehicles saving drivers forty million dollars each year. Learn more at Ontario.ca/slash keeping costs down. Paid for by the government of Ontario. CHUM AM Toronto is TSN 1050, an iHeart Radio station, and the voice of Toronto sports. Well, how did this happen? Third place in the division is not secure. Suddenly, it's must-win time. And tonight at home to the surprising Washington Capitals, who are on their own roll and maybe playoff bound. In fact, they could actually finish third in their own division. So I have to ask, will the Leafs snap out of it tonight? Well, let's find out. Molson Canadian Leafs hockey starts now. It's time for Molson Canadian Leafs hockey. On TSN 1050 and the Leafs Radio Network, the Leafs live here. Oh, yes, they do. And back home again, Tuesday night, a loss to the Devils tonight. The Washington Capitals welcome to Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey Live from Scotiabank Arena. Jim Taddy, Josh Cloak from The Athletic with you. And shortly off to Joe Bowen and Jimmy Ralph with their accounts and descriptions of tonight's game. The starting lineup is brought to you by Molson. Whether it's Canadian, Ultra, Export, or Excel, there is a Molson with your name on it. And the lines will go like this. Matthews is in. Uh, an illness scare earlier today, but he's good to go. He will center Domi and Bertuzzi. Tavares between Nylander and McMahon. Holmberg centering Robertson and Nyes. Camp centering Reeves and Dewar on the blue line. Benoit McCabe, Brody Labushkin, Gio and Timmons. Lilligren has an upper body injury, not available for the game. And, of course, Wall is the starter in goal. Mr. Cloak, what do you think of all that? Well, I've got... Nick Robertson and Ryan Reeves circled on that lineup because, you know, we expect Callie Arncroft and Mitch Marner to be available, obviously, for game one. Those two guys feel like the ones that are kind of fighting to 
to stay in the, the, the playoff lineup. But that third line, again, Nick Robertson, that really intrigues me. This is, you know, kind of been dubbed the kids' line. Yeah. Nice Holmberg Robertson. I thought they played really, really well uh, against the Devils. There's just, a, again, there's a youthful energy that they bring. Um, they play just, you know, 100 miles an hour every shift. I like that. Um, that's a line that I want to keep an eye on. Bobby McMahon, you know, staying on that second line, that's deserved for me. Again, we talked a lot about Tyler Bertuzzi before the break. Uh, he's playing on that top line right now. I'm hesitant to think that that sticks when everybody's healthy. We'll see. But, um, you know, great opportunity for, for those two, Bertuzzi and Domi, to prove that they do belong higher up the lineup. Well, and with Barner on his way back, the one thing that's guaranteed with the Leafs is you can put out any any uh, three guys in a line. I mean, it's pretty well tried everybody, so nothing would be new, really. No, and again, like I think that's why this kind of kids line is so important because, like, are you ready to play Pontus Holmberg as your third line center come playoff time? Are you, you know, yeah. that's a, that's that's a, that's a big ask. Well, it depends on what the matchup is and how he performs. I I really do think as well we're trending towards you. Look at that fourth line: Connor Dewar, David Camp. Even though Connor Dewar is a center. Right, he's yeah. played on the wing as you know, as essentially his whole time here as a Leaf. I think we're trending towards a fourth line that is just a, a pure shutdown line, um, and that'll be interesting to see if that's how the you know Sheldon Keith deploys this line against the Capitals, um, who are coming in on a heater. Right? Good, yeah. Good team fighting for their playoff spot, too. Well, I mean, look at the depth. So, Barner, Yarn, Croak, and Gregor are not in the lineup tonight for different reasons. But with those three and, and, and the 12 that are playing, those are some nice options. They're options. Yeah. They are options. Yeah. And, and again, you go even further back, a lot more options on the blue line as well. Mark Giordano in. First game since February 29th. Really, really important game for him. He's another one on kind of the playoff bubble. I don't know if he's in your playoff six. But he's, he's probably fighting. not. But he's fighting. You're yeah. getting, you're getting like, again Simone Benoit. You're getting guys right now that are are fighting to stay in the lineup. That can be a recipe for success in a one game sample size. And then there's the Washington Capitals, seven and three their last ten, and on a tear. And so is Ovi. So this will be pretty fascinating. We'll step out. The opening faceoff is next. This is Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN 1050, the iHeartRadio app, and the Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The point. With Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111 point pace. So they've gone head to head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Boys with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hockey 24-7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. And on your schedule with a Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the National Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think come to expect it. It's their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stone. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. 
Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter-Miami game. Messi up over and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. The Power Play with Steve Coulias. Serrano? Yeah, they don't have a face card. Like, they don't have an ace. Morgan's a jack. They have so many non-face cards that these guys are going to have the bullpen by committee. Because the real truth is this. They got a good forward group. But if you don't defend against Boston and Florida, you're not seeing Boston or Florida in round two. That's the exam, and the test will be on this defense. The Power Play. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, wrist the line, and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! NHL Play-by-Play play play on Sirius XM. Leafs and the Washington Capitals colliding for the third time this season, and the Maple Leafs have a 2-0 record against the Caps thus far. Washington battling its way into a playoff spot. The Maple Leafs kind of spinning their wheels trying to get some traction going here but with a lot of people out in different lineups each night it's hard to get a read on exactly who's going to be where when it starts as the puck is dropped and we're underway to start the first period charlie lindgren in goal for washington and joseph wall gets the call for the maple leafs played to center ice and in along the boards and now matthews trying to poke it away and does the puck comes free with a backhand pass in front of the leaf goal far side and a shot went wide of the net rebound played around back of the net to the far wing labushkin got there but his pass went astray but it goes right down on lindgren so there's no icing and it's back into the washington end both teams changing Fervari getting it up on the left wing. Chipped it in over the line. Trying to work in there was Mirshachenko. That didn't work out. The Leafs start back on the left wing now. And here's Benoit sending it down into the zone. Number of changes on the Leaf defense. Mark Giordano back as the puck comes out in front of the Leaf net. Or the uh, Caps net. But Tavares couldn't get a shot away. It comes back to center ice. Tavares on the wing. And it's going to be offside as McMahon... I was inside the, the line, and the play is whistled down. Hello, well, Mr. Ralph. Nice to have you here with us. Oh, thanks for the invite. Well, you know. Thank you. Did, you, did uh, you enjoy the snacks? Did you, did you get some popcorn? Did you, you know, there's no. lots of snacks and stuff. No, I've been good so far. Oh, okay. You? No. <laughs> you haven't been good? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> enjoy the show. Yeah, yeah. Love your work. Played off the boards to center. Leafs get it into the zone. Nye's going after it. Leafs wearing their next generation black jersey. So bear with us a little bit here tonight is the pass. And Timmons trying to get a shot away. And it went off a leg and comes to center. Mark Giordano back into the lineup for the Maple Leafs. 40-year-old. Been out with a concussion. And good to see him back. Lilligren is not in the lineup for the Maple Leafs. So a lot of changes here. Here's Robertson trying to play it in. Was run off the puck by Fairvari, and it's down into Washington territory. Capitals go back to retrieve it. Pass up on the wing on the right wing side. Obey Kubel got it in over the line. Former Leaf as it's played around the boards and the Leafs get it up ahead for Reeves. Reeves will chip it into the zone. Hustling in after it is Dewar. Takes his man to the wall. Reeves trying to pry it free from a pileup back of the Washington goal that maintains itself until it squirts free and comes to the near side and Brody sends it around the boards to the far wing. Cleared right back in again by Connor Timmons. Down the boards Brody to play it back of the net. Cupped off there by John Carlson, and Carlson will try a long lead pass. It went off the skate of its intended receiver and Obey Kubel, and it's played back down into the Toronto end. Leafs with the only shot on goal. Ovechkin couldn't get in over the line. The Leafs 
play it back on the left wing for Bertuzzi. A shot right on. Oh, and a juicy rebound. And then another rebound in front for Matthews that was stopped by Lindgren. Two good scoring chances there. Domi chips it ahead and Matthews steps around. Matthews centering pass. And it was just redirected by T.J. Oshie at the last second. Or a great opportunity was going to be had there. And then Ovechkin stepped into one of the Leafs. Was that, I believe it was uh, Holmberg. And now a pass in front of the Leaf goal is shot wide of the net. You forget about Ovechkin and how physical he can be. And Pontus Holmberg found out there. A pass into the slot area is knocked away. And McMahon starts back up ice for Toronto. But his bank pass was cut off. And now here are the Capitals in over the line. Mirshachenko gets it off on the right wing. Carlson dropping it back for Strom. Pass in front. Stopped there on the rebound. Is cleared into the corner. Small victories. Wall has stopped the first two shots. The last two games, the first two shots on goal ended up into the net. And now a third is swallowed up by Wall off the wing. And he will hold for a faceoff. I'll tell you one thing about Joseph Wall, though. The Leafs have got to cut down on the odd man rushes against. Even the game that he lost in Carolina, the 2-1 game. And what? Breakaway in a penalty shot in the first period. Two on ones. And here again, and to me this is a little concerning. The Leafs get into that full collapse mode in their own zone where they basically give the defenseman, if they get the puck at the point, 20 feet of free space from the blue line to the top of the circle. Step in and either make a good pass for a backdoor play or hammer it at the net, right? Played down into the Toronto end. Wall out of the cage to pump it around to the near wing. Leafs get it elevated through center and down into the Washington zone. And a bit of a gift icing coming here. The referee referees Pierre Lambert and Wes McCauley, Keel Murchison and David Brisebois hey, are the linesmen tonight. That's some stats you might like. I love stats. Ovi versus Matthews. Ooh. Alexander Ovechkin has 57 empty net goals of his 848. That's 6.7%. Austin Matthews has 9 empty net goals out of his 358. Ovi 6.7% are empty netters. Matthews 2.5. Wow. Okay. You uh, had to do a lot of research and come up with all of that. Uh, excuse Penalty me. Coming here against Toronto. You give me credit for asking somebody to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever Boy. has to be done, right? And this is right off the faceoff. And Slashing call, Trudano. Uh, it's going to be roughing. I, I might have been a half-hearted attempt to atone for the... Ovechkin hit as we're watching him again. Well, you know what? It looked like he could have called an interference on Ovechkin before that. And then Giordano got up and threw a left, and that's what the penalty is. Penalty kill brought to you by CMC Markets. Take your trading to the next level with $0 commission on stocks. And the lead penalty kill, if there is one area that has to improve over the last remaining games in the schedule it has to be here a pass into the slot area knocked away from Oshi. it comes around the boards to the near point carlson keeping it in carlson at the blue line can't keep it in this time leafs have intercepted and it goes off a skate down into washington territory lindgren playing it around the boards and it is carlson going back to retrieve the puck and he's going to drop it back in turn Brought through center ice by Dylan Strome. Mississauga native gets it back to the blue line, but it squirts past Carlson and comes out into the center ice area. Now the Caps bring it right back in. Quickly intercepted there nicely by Bobby McMahon, and he has iced the puck. Hey, I'll get this in quick because they're on the power play. Ovechkin, 36% of his goals have been on the power play. For Matthews, 25%. Well, certainly five on five is where Austin Matthews has excelled. That just banks that little statistic, doesn't it? Puck in the far corner in the Toronto zone. Benoit had it in his skates. Puck comes free. Poked back to Ovechkin at the left point. Wrist shot coming and gloved by Wall, and he will hold on for a faceoff coming in the Toronto zone. By the way, Anything else? I got lots of stuff. Oh. I just wanted to, no, well, there's, I don't think there's any other way of scoring. I 
Shorthanded goals. I bet Ovechkin doesn't have very many shorthanded goals. Yeah, I didn't go that far. (laughs) But I just thought, you know, from being specialty teams to empty net goals. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's astounding how those add up over the course of an illustrious career. Nikita Kucherov has seven this year, shorthanded goals. Wow. Wow, a trip there there that wasn't called against Dewar, and Dewar is going to backhand it, but it ends up going into the Toronto bench. Austin Matthews sitting on 59. His uh, career high, one more, 60. They have seen if he can do it against Alexander Ovechkin, and I believe Ovi's only hit 60 twice. Once in his career. I've got that down somewhere. Leafs play it out at center ice. Penalty has a half minute to go in it. Cleared in along the boards then by David Camp. He tried to one-hand it in front, but didn't make contact. Caps are back in their own zone. Bringing it out on the right wing side. A pass is dropped back, carried on by Pacioretty across the line to the far side. Long shot to flex in front of the net. The Leafs are able to backhand it and just get it out at center ice as Rasmus Sandin was unable to keep it in. I think this is the first time that Sandin has been back in Toronto after being yes. dealt last year. Well, it's a little over a year ago at the trade deadline. Leafs with it in their own end. Domi starting out. Max Domi stick handling in neutral ice. Got it up on the right side for Bertuzzi. Matthews drives to the front of the net, but the puck goes around back of the goal. And it'll be grabbed off there by Nick Jensen, who gets it up on the left wing. And out come the Caps to flip it in. Hustling after it is uh, Malenstein. He's taken to the boards efficiently there by Benoit with a big hit. And the Leafs have it up against the boards, but not far enough to find Domi on the left wing. And the battle continues right at the blue line. Kept in by Washington. And unable to get it in front was Beck Malenstein. And then a leaf player goes down. And a tripping call is coming here. And I'll give you a quick thing. I deliberately left out this stat earlier. The Leafs penalty kill in the Washington power play. Capitals in the last 22, 20 games, 22 for 62. 35%, a big reason why they're in a wild card spot now. The Leafs have killed off just 20 of 30 in the previous nine coming in. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. Hey, feeling good. Need a dose of sunshine? Got the sunshine on my Sunday best. Or a serotonin boost? is one of many happy extra channels available on the all-new Sirius XM app. Search Happy Radio to start listening to endless feel-good hits. NHL Morning Skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think come to expect it their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Laughlin and Gord Stone. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The Power Play with Steve Coolius. Serrano? Yeah, they don't have a face card. Like, they don't have an ace. Morgan's a jack. They have so many non-face cards that these guys are going to have the bullpen by committee. Because the real truth is this. They got a good forward group. But if you don't defend against Boston and Florida, you're not seeing Boston or Florida in round two. That's the exam, and the test will be on this defense. The Power Play. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Eastern. On NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Join me, Ward Stellick, and Scott Laughlin as we recap the night that was on NHL Morning Skate, weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91. Want it. Leafs have dropped to sixth. Power play proficiency, 52 of 205, 25.4%. And boy, I mean, they had a great stretch before that, but the last 14 games, four of 43. Face off in the Washington zone to the right. I know you said if you could change one thing, it's the penalty kill. Yeah. Now here's a drop pass. Timmons with a shot, and it's into the glove 
of Lindgren and held for a face-off again in the Washington zone. Could you ask for maybe the power play, too, while you're at it? Ask for two things? No, you can't. You can only ask for one. Because then you get greedy and people start to think, well, you know, they shouldn't be like I think it's time to be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this a while. Yeah, we have. You're right. The <laughs> hell with it. Let's be greedy. Face off to the left in the Washington zone. Tavares wins the draw. It comes back to the point to Timmons. Near side for Bertuzzi. Down into the corner for Nylander. Nylander works to the half boards. Back to the point. It goes to Timmons. Return to Nylander. Nylander to Timmons again. Far side, Matthews. Shooting off the shoulder. And a big rebound is out of midair. Wrapped out and down into the Toronto zone. Ice, or at least the whistle will not come as it was knocked there by the Capitals. Here's Matthews playing it around the boards. Nylander on the far side. Works it back behind the net for Bertuzzi. He let it go to find Matthews. Matthews in the corner. Now to Tavares. Tavares' pass didn't connect. Matthews controls again. Near side, down low, centering pass. Loose puck in front, stolen by the Caps, and they're going to backhand it out at center ice, and Timmons will go back with a minute three to go on the power play, and some of the second unit coming over the boards. Nylander to center. To Matthews on left wing. Fed to the right wing side. Kept alive and into the corner. Now for Tavares by McMahon. Back of the net, Nylander. Nylander trying to pass and find Matthews. Back to the point it comes. Back again and a shot from an angle by Matthews. Deflected into the corner and wide of the net. Leafs after the loose puck with Tavares back of the goal. Off to Matthews on the right wing side. Back to the blue line it comes to McCabe. McCabe gets a return pass to the blue line. To Matthews on the right wing. Doesn't shoot it. McCabe gets it again and a shot. Blocked in front. Knocked wide of the net by Matthews. Cleared to the line but not out. Leafs keep it in. A Nylander a drive. Kicked away nicely by Lindgren. 13 seconds left in the po- and the power play. Tavares, who's been out for the entire two minutes, in along the boards far side. In front of the net, Matthews a shot. Lindgren stopped that. Cleared off the boards. And now out of the penalty box comes Dowd. Well, they had lots of opportunities. Nine shots already for the Leafs. Five for the Capitals. Austin Matthews had two great point-blank chances. Caps get it out and backhanded out into the center ice area. Oshie gets across the line. A drop pass off of Strom to the point. And a shot went wide of the net as Van Riemsdyk was hoping for a redirect. Then another shot from the point went wide. Van Riemsdyk keeping it in, but it's cut off by the Maple Leafs. Flipped up on the left wing for Nyes. Nyes gets it out at center, but unable to carry on was uh, Labushkin. Now on the left wing, Nyes. His shot was blocked. He carries back into the slot area and a drop pass. Scores! Mark Giordano! Welcome back! And after he scores, Joe Giordano looks to the rafters and pumps towards the banners hanging over Scotiabank Arena. And you know who that was for. Yeah, exactly. Lost his dad earlier in the season. It's been a tough year for Mark Giordano. Good for him. 12 games out with the injury. And, I mean, he does rifle this. I mean, we had Austin Matthews with two great chances closer than that. But Mark Giordano and a little drop feed from Matthew Nyes. Goes blocker side on the right-handed catching Charlie Lindgren to the, give the Leafs a one nothing lead. Took them a little longer than the game in Washington when Austin Matthews opened the scoring in the first minute. 156 goals in his career, Mark Giordano. Including the first two, which were right in this building to our the same end of the ice with the Calgary Flames. Caps break it out at center. Brought in over the line by LaPierre. A long shot. Pad saved by Wall. And it is cleared into the center ice area. Joseph Wall is 2-0. Lifetime against the Capitals with a 2.01. Goals against average. Now brought in over the line by McMichael. He had it knocked away and it comes back out at center ice. Tom Wilson... 
not in the lineup after the suspension. Yeah, this is game four of the six-game suspension. Yep. Here are the Caps trying to get it in front of the net was Ovechkin. It comes back on the right wing side. Here's a chance for Nick Jensen going to the net. Big pad save made there by Wall. The puck comes back to the blue line and Wall gets across. He's without his stick though. Back to the point near side. Here's Oshie working in on the right side. Trying to play it back to the blue line and Jensen is there with a long shot. Wall's gotten his stick back and the Leafs are going to get the puck out at center ice. Left wing side, back in for Matthews. Curls on a pass from Domia. Drop pass and into the glove of Lindgren is the point shot again from high scoring Mark Giordano. Well, why not when you're hot, keep going. And it's almost from the exact same spot, top of the left wing circle. At the least, they'll take a 1 0 lead into the commercial break. Second goal of the season for Giordano. The Maple Leafs with a 1 0 advantage. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. From the biggest stadiums to the coziest holes in the wall, from house parties to porch hangs to pride celebrations, from your favorite fuss shop to your local Indian spot. From noodle bars to sports bars to salsa bars, there's a Molson with your name on it. Canadian Ultra XL. Molson. Everyone in. Must be legal drinking age. Breaking story from Alpine News Network. Sandra and Kabir are celebrating 50 years of marriage by turning their boring bedroom into a spicy one. Oh my. Alpine Credit sent a super strength hero to help with a home renovation load. New floors, windows, a heart-shaped button that plays this tune. Okay, I think that's quite enough. Own your home? Need a loan? Alpine Credits can help. Alpine Credits, where homeowners get approved. Just for license 12616. Did you fix that leaky tap? Uh-huh. How about that loose doorknob? Uh-huh. Right now, we can get a free medium pizza from Two for One Pizza. Did somebody say free pizza? See, it's not just the kids that have selective hearing. Right now, get a free medium one-topping pizza with a minimum $25 purchase before tax and delivery. Limited time offer. Online orders only. Visit 2 for one pizzacom and use coupon code FREEM. one nothing Toronto, Giordano's second of the year from Nyes at uh, 10.09. We did mention that Mark Giordano did lose his father, and his first game back after that, Joe, was a game that he was injured in, and it was a scoring chance in the first period. So well, some tough times for Mark Giordano, but great to see him back in the lineup and on the board. And with all due respect to the experience that he's got, I think at his age, some time off may not be the worst thing down the stretch. No, you, you, you're probably right, you know. I think he was probably, now, you probably don't know overplayed. How often or how much he's going to be used in the playoffs yeah. and everything else. But it'll the be Leafs fresh. have got a, a depth issue, right? The, I don't know if you got number like a number one or number two defense, yeah. but, but you got a whole pile of, yeah. you know, that now, can be in or. Now you should, you should else. you should not need that kind of motivation going into the playoffs. That look, if you're not playing well, you're coming out. But it certainly becomes an option for the coaching staff if they think something's not working or somebody is having a struggle against a certain opposition. Yeah, there are many, many combinations they can use. What's going on here? We, well, there's ice repair work being done, Mr. Rob. But, one of the yeah, just looking at the guys in the corner of the ice with the gate open. One it's, of the squeegee guys is yeah. down there. He's got that all smoothed out. This is going to take a little while for him to get back to the Zamboni entrance. Okay, I'll give you this one about Charlie Lindgren. And, and talking to the Washington broadcasters, Craig Lachlan, Kenny Sabern, they were saying the same thing, that if it was not for Charlie Lindgren, they would not be back in a playoff spot right now. You know, for Lindgren, this is game number 15 of 16 that he has appeared in. Pass into the slot, and a shot just went wide as Tavares let it go. It's chopped high to center ice, and Nylander will go back to recover the puck. Gets it to Giordano. 
He'll drop to Nylander. Nylander coming through neutral ice. Weaves to the right wing side. Then shoots the puck in. Lindgren is out to slow it up. Played it around the boards. That was blocked there by McMahon. But he'll push it up on the right wing side. And Obe Kubel plays it back to his defenseman. And Van Riemsdyk steps out from behind his own goal. And now gets it up on the wing. Pass on to the left wing side. In across the line. Malenstein. He played it around the boards to the near wing. Leafs get a chance to move it up the boards. And now get it out at center ice. And down the left wing comes Domi. He'll flip it into the left wing corner. Out of the net the goaltender to play it past the leaf winger and the Caps back in their own zone organizing with 7.13 left to play in the first period and the Leafs leading one to nothing Carlson plays it down into the Toronto zone and icing is going to be called by the linesman here so it'll come back into the Washington zone the Leafs next action is in Buffalo on Saturday night, we'll have that action for you right here on TSN 1050 and the network stations. What kind of game we're going to get there. It was the last time the, those two teams met was a 2-1 overtime win for the Leafs here after a 9-3 loss in Buffalo in December. The Little Shop of Horrors. As I like to call the Key Bank Center, whatever it's called now. Played back to the point. Church, a shot whistled in there by Brody was kicked away by Lindgren and the Caps get it back out into the center ice area Brody up the middle it goes to Matthews Matthews pass intended there for Bertuzzi bounced over his stick and the Leafs have to go back in their own zone to reorganize Brody coming to the red line launches it into the left wing corner Lindgren's going to get this and chip it back along the boards pass comes ahead at center Brody couldn't get it away there from Mirshichenko. And now the Leafs do turn it over, and it is played deep into Washington territory to allow the teams to change. Capitals are doing likewise, so they'll take their time back in their own end. Scarbosa swinging as the pass comes up on the wing to John Carlson. A long lead feed. Deflects into the Toronto zone. No icing. Chip back the other way. This is going to go the length of the ice, though. And a pen, uh, penalty, a icing penalty, will be in brought back into the Toronto zone. Well, the Capitals in their last 19 games, 13-5 and one. In fact, they've won six of their last seven. The only loss was their game against the Leafs when Washington came back from a West Coast road trip. They had a big win over Detroit. They're two yeah. points up on Detroit and one back of the Flyers. Yeah, that's the other avenue in. Yes, it is. The Metropolitan Division. And anybody trying to avoid the New York Rangers, really, on that side, wouldn't you suggest? I think what, what the playoffs always prove, it doesn't matter who you're no. playing. I'll tell you who I don't want to play right away. The Nashville Predators. They're the hottest team in the league. Here's Ovechkin. In on the right side, tied to center. It comes back to the point. Jensen holds. Jensen dropping it back. Working in is McMichael. A shot. That's blocked. There's a big rebound. And it is pumped high wow. off a stick up into the screen from about three feet in front of the goal crease. I think Connor Dewar may have gotten his stick in the way to stop that. 1-0 Toronto. 5.23 to play. First period. And you're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The points with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. Oh. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111 point pace. So they've gone head to head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Points with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. 
Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter-Miami game. Messi up over him! and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, risk the line and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! And each other play by play on Sirius XM. Jim Taddy. And Josh Cloak coming along in our intermission. Owen Hall handling all of the operation and keeping us under control. Matthew Cartadero. And, of course, the mainstay of the broadcast booth, Luca Moya, trying to keep us under control. Puck in the center ice area. Knocked by the Leafs. Tavares down into the corner. Tavares came under a lot of heat from the coach after the game the other night. Tavares hooked to the ice there. No call. The puck comes free, though. McMahon getting it back to the point. Now here's Giordano trying to chip it in along the wall. McMahon couldn't come up with it. It comes to the line and out at center ice, and the Caps will break in on the right wing side. Pacioretty with a pass that was too high to handle, and the Leafs come away with it with McMahon playing it off the boards and off onto the near wing. Nylander couldn't come up with it. And Pacioretty sends it back in on the right side for Dylan Strom on the right wing side. A pass looking for a backdoor play. Pacioretty was knocked down. And Pontus Holmberg has it up on the wing now. And McMahon, a long rink-wide pass. Slowed up and up, though, that Nylander had stopped to pick it up. Now he's got it in the zone. Still with it. Dropping it back to the blue line. Brody closes. Big rebound in front. And it's knocked away and set down the ice by Washington. All right, T.J. Brody has the longest goalless streak of any active player in the NHL. 101 games. And all I could think of was Giordano opened the scoring. Is Brody going to snap one here? Almost He's had same. a couple of good chances here. Yeah, snapped it from the same spot. Again, left wing circle, same spot that Giordano scored on earlier in the period. Leaves holding on to the one nothing lead, 4-11 to go. Face off in the Washington zone. Draw one by Matthews. Domi centers. And it was tipped away from Matthews out at center ice. The Leafs will hustle back. Brody playing it up on the wing, and he'll find Max Domi. Domi sends it in on the backhand. Matthews into the forecheck against Nick Jensen. Puck stolen back, and the Capitals are going to get it out and down the ice again. Another icing coming here. With three minutes and 49 seconds to play in the first period, and the Leafs leading one to nothing on Mark Giordano's second goal of the season from Nyes at 10:09. We will say I think it would be pretty neat if Austin Matthews could hit 60 playing against Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals, and it was in fact only one 60 goal season for Alexander Ovechkin, and that came in his third year. Followed that up with 56 goal season. But that would be as close as he'd get to 60 again. Well, Matthews has scored 32 of his goals on home ice this year. So it's not without the realm of possibility. Is a good hit there by McCabe. Straightened out Obe Kubel. The puck down into the far corner in the Toronto zone. McCabe in against the wall. The puck swung around the boards. It's going to come to the line and clear as Jensen couldn't keep it in. Jensen going back into his own zone. Jensen starts out and circles back. Team's trying to get some change in. Jensen starts back up with a pass over on the right wing side. Banked ahead by Sandine. It'll go down into the Toronto end. Wall thought that might have been icing, but it was not called. And the Leafs come away with the loose puck and backhand it to center. But with a high stick, it's knocked back into the Toronto end. Then an errant pass looking for Nyes and brought back in over the line by Protus. And with a shot, that was blockered away there by Wall. And the Leafs get it out into the center ice area. 2.38 to play in the first. one nothing Toronto. Down into the corner. Protus couldn't come up with it. The shot from the blue line blockered away by Wall. 
taken on the wing, but not cleared initially. But now Robertson gets to center, and he'll send a long shoot in that is gloved easily by Lindgren. Caps back in their own end. Dropping it back. Brought on by Van Riemsdyk. Shot into the Toronto zone. Wall leaves there for his defense. Pass up the middle for Camp. He got it to center. Gets a return pass. Works down the right wing boards. Little stutter step and stop up. Looks to play back to the point, but then backhands it behind the net for Reeves. Reeves getting away from one man. Reeves in the near corner. Gets it back to the point. Brody walks the line to the far side to Timmons and a shot that didn't make it through. And the Capitals will try to work their way out. But now here's a steal by Dewar and a shot. The rebound. Oh, what a chance. Camp had it from the backhand try. And Lindgren is going to get there as well. But David Camp had a glorious chance on a juicy rebound off of Lindgren. But it went off the heel of his stick and trickled wide of the net. I think Trevor ran, Van Riemsdyk just got enough of it diving to change the positioning of the puck as David Camp was trying to unload it towards the goal. Good hustle though by Connor Dewar. Hunt down the puck, eventually get it to the net before Camp had the rebound opportunity. I think the Washington broadcasters were saying about Charlie Lindgren is how few bad goals he gives up. I said you could count on one hand how many goals that went in that you said he could stop. He said a couple of them might have been against the Leafs. The last time the Leafs played the Washington Capitals. Icing call here against Washington. Minute 22 to go first period. Giordano's goal on the board. Tavares taking the face off against Nick Dowd. And the draw scrum, but Nylander comes away with it. Back to Brody. Here's his shot. Blockered away nicely by Lindgren, who catches with his right hand. And the blocker on his left. Wall into the corner. Swung around to the far side for Timmons. Timmons gets it ahead for Tavares. Tavares at the red line is going to pump it deep into Washington territory. Puck down the boards, played back of the net. Tavares got there to take it to the wall, but no one there to support. And the Caps will just get it out at center with less than a minute to go in the period. Timmons getting it off on the near side for Benoit. He gets it back to Nylander. Nylander works in across the line, plays it into the far corner. And Sandine is there, but Sandine fell down back of the goal, but Bertuzzi couldn't take advantage of the miscue. Pass intercepted by Matthews, flipping it in for Bertuzzi, a shot. And that was stopped on the short side by Lindgren. Domi curling out of the corner, into the slot area, and a backhand try by Bertuzzi to find Matthews didn't work. Al Bertuzzi with it again in the neutral zone. Crossed the line for Matthews. Took a weak shot that was easily handled by Lindgren. Seven seconds in the period. Benoit into the slot. Matthews with another drive. Big rebound in front of the goal. Knocked into the corner. How in there? Oh. Wow. Lindgren took a pretty good poke at Max Domi, who shot the puck just as the horn went off. Now, right before that, Domi leveled Nick Jensen from behind. So if you're going to call the roughing on the goalie, you might want to call the cross check as well. So we'll uh, have this sorted out when we come back, but uh, we'll step aside for our first period intermission. Mark Giordano on the board for the Maple Leafs from Nyes. 1-0 Toronto. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. Celebrate the spirit of Easter on Sirius XM. Hear masses throughout the week on the Catholic Channel, including Easter Mass from Rome with His Holiness Pope Francis. Embrace the promise of hope on Joel Osteen Radio. You are full of resurrection power. And experience Easter from Israel on the Billy Graham Channel. Where Jesus walked and talked. Plus exclusive interviews, performances, and music for the occasion on the all-new Sirius XM app. Just search Christian. The Points with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. Oh. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake, that's an 111-point pace. So they've gone head-to-head -head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz. 
and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Boys with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hockey 24-7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. Sirius XM, NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. And on your schedule with the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the National Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Laughlin and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think we've come to expect it. It's their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Laughlin and Gord Stone. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hey Toronto, I'm David Morissuti, host of the daily Toronto Me Please podcast, Locked On Lease, part of the Locked On Podcast Network on the Sirius XM app. Every weekday, we bring you the latest Leafs news and analysis, break down all the action, including this game you're listening to right now, and preview the next one. We're giving you everything a Leafs fan could want, all in a daily 30 minute podcast. Download Locked On Leafs right now on the Sirius XM app, available with all trials and popular plans. Or where you get your podcast, search Locked On. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter Miami game. Messi up over and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, wrist the line, and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! NHL play-by-play play play on Sirius XM. Here you want it. Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey is on TSN 1050 and the Leafs Radio Network. The Leafs live here. Labushkin now on the left wing. Nice. His shot was blocked. He carries back into the slot area and a drop pass. Scores! Mark Giordano! Welcome back! And after he scores, Joe Giordano looks to the rafters and pumps towards the banners hanging over Scotiabank Arena. And you know who that was for. Gio in the second of the season, one of the leaves over the Capitals after 20 minutes of play. TSN After 20 brought to you by Subaru. Embrace spring weather with the Subaru all-weather drive event. Visit your local Subaru dealer to book a test drive today. And if that was a test drive, Josh Cloak from the Athletic, then so far so good is what I would say. Yeah, a, a decent period. 19 shots on goal. Uh, we've seen this movie before, yes. right, where they loaded up in the first period. Uh, but no, I thought they played pretty, pretty well, neutralized. E. Washington didn't really give him much, but like for me, I think we just we, we have to give some time here to, to Mark Giordano's first game back since February 29th, right? Awkward he, fall into the boards. Right, awkward fall into the boards, but you know, his father Paul passes uh, just a few weeks before that, February 16th, and this is Mark Giordano's first goal since. You know, as, as Ralphie pointed out in the clip beforehand, he pointed skywards. It's very, very difficult, you know, time, yeah. I'm sure, for, for Mark Giordano. Um, so it's a really important moment, a good moment for him to have. Uh, you know, a little bit of a reminder of, of what it's all about. Um, but, you know, to, to, to bring it back to the game, you get production lower down the lineup. It's, it's never a bad way to start a game. 
I'm going to throw this out at you. All right, guys. This isn't much different. Maybe maybe not as generous defensively, but um, they started okay in Carolina. Started okay against the Devils, and here with 19 shots, one goal. So they've got to find a way to, to manage the situation. I don't think that's much of a curveball you threw at me. That's that's kind of the. It's, it's right down the middle, wasn't it? It's right down. That, yeah. That's how this team has played as of late. Yeah. Um, I, again, I thought they played really well. I thought Joseph Wall played played well. Um, you know, between the pipes. I, again, what's been lacking with this team, and how many times have we had this conversation, is the full 60-minute effort, right? Right, Doing what they did in the first, being able to sustain that, you know, into minute 50. Um, but I, I did think, you know, the Leafs built into this game. I thought they were better in the second half of the first period, which is a good sign as well. Yeah. Um, but they just yeah. got to keep it coming. Yeah, like this is the and and that's what you're looking for um, in terms of the response from Sheldon Keefe. Uh, I thought John Tavares played pretty well. He was active. Yeah. Um, you just you, you want to see that every single period. That's all it has to be at this point because again, and we're going to be using this word, you know, every single every single time from here on in. If you play like that in the playoffs, if you play consistently in the playoffs, you just give yourself a legitimate chance to win. But you take a shift off, you know, the, the, the Panthers or the Bruins are going to get you. I know, but I, every time we go down that road, I think to myself, a year ago at this time, the Panthers were nowhere to be seen. Got in uh, just through a fluke or fate at the end and took it from there. And that's really what it's all about. You take it from there. There's no game 72 is going to decide anything. No, and I think, like, building momentum within the playoffs is a thing, right? There's, there's nothing to say that, like, should the Leafs play poorly, you know, tonight, the rest of the night, or, or you know, game 75, 76, for example. That's that's not prohibiting them from going on a run. You just want to see these, these habits, these details, you know, especially, again, from you're, you're looking, we're, we're looking at Nick Robertson right now. You need to see it from some of the younger guys as yeah. well. Well, consistency is, is is the big word, that's for sure. And you need it from everybody. So It's really, really hard to do. Because it's so hard to do. Apparently. It's, it, well, no, it is. It's so hard for for this team to, to learn that. Right? Like, how do you learn that? How do you learn? You know, you, you just you have to go through it. Right? Yeah. Uh, you know, in this game, um, I, Ovi absolutely laid out McCabe. What a solid hit that was. What a reminder of what he can bring. <laughs> I know. You saw, you saw glimpses there, and you go, yeah, he is. he's a pretty good goal scorer, uh, and, and he can decide a game, so you better quiet him down somehow. You know what made me feel good when I watched that hit? I don't know if you saw the, the photo beforehand of the Capitals boarding their flight to come to Toronto, and Ovechkin was boarding the flight with a bag of Cheetos and a, a Subway bag. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, all right, if Alex Govechkin can eat that way, yeah. uh, the way that there's you know, hope for the rest of there's, us. <laughs> there's hope for us mere mortals, right? Yeah. Um, maybe that's the key to laying out that kind of hit: okay. bag of Cheetos and uh, Italian BMT. Well, and and uh, you know, for the the Capitals, uh, you know, when people talk about oh, how are they where they are with that goal differential, uh, in fact, what they do is they lose games decisively. And the close games, they find a way to win. So we'll keep our eye on that. Yeah, and, and look, I, I think this, there's a lot of firepower in this Capitals team still. And I think there's there's going to be opportunities for them to, to get into the game. Um, but, you know, to bring it back, I, I thought Joe Wall looked really, really comfortable in goal. There was this yeah. sequence there where he lost his stick. Yeah. Right? And and that's the kind of opportunity that for the Capitals to really take, uh, take hold of the game. But I thought Joe Wall looked as comfortable as he has. Um, again, we're going to be talking about the goaltenders every single game, right? Every single period matters here. Yep. And really good audition for Joe Wall for that that number one spot. I think the storyline that's that's just not going to go away, probably up until whenever the season ends, is how you know who's going to play on that blue line because I think that's going to be a constant rotation. The they literally have half of their likely playoff blue line in tonight. Half. Yeah. You know, we're talking about a few weeks away from the playoffs, and you've got just half of them in there. It's That's concerning. But, again, these are – this is an audition time. It is. one nothing for the Leafs over Washington after 20 minutes of play. This is Bolsa Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN 1050, the iHeart Radio app, and the Leafs Radio Network. You've heard that sound before. A basketball going off the backboard and in. 
a bank shot. Well, that's actually the sound of a fan winning a Raptors jersey. That's the sound of a fan getting a signed Raptors basketball. And that's a fan scoring tickets to the NBA Finals. With the Tangerine Bank Shot Contest, every bank shot the Raptors score this season wins a fan a prize. Enter for a chance to win at tangerine.ca slash bank shot. Tangerine, that's forward banking. Today, when it comes to following sports, a basic box score just won't cut it. Get the stats behind the stats with NHL Edge. So you won't just see McCarr's time on ice. You'll see where he spent it. You won't just know Matthew scored. You'll know how hard he shot it. And you won't just get OV's shot total. You'll know where he shot it from. Even if they're all from the same place. Know more about every stat, every shift, and every star with NHL Edge. For juicy turkey, head to Farm Boy. Premium Farm Boy fresh turkey from the Hater Farm in Dashwood, Ontario is grain-fed for unbeatable taste. Because it's fresh, there's no moisture robbing thine, so your turkey is guaranteed naturally moist and tender. For delicious Easter ham, pick up a fully cooked Farm Boy bone-in Ontario ham, slow-smoked over real hardwood in Dundas, Ontario, for succulent texture and distinctively sweet flavor. When quality counts, count on Farm Boy. It's all about the food. Will I need a new air conditioner this summer? Predicting record-breaking heat? Huh. You might not know the best time to get a new air conditioner, but we do. Right now, with the Reliance Home Comfort Trade-In Event, you can get $1,100 in credit towards your new AC when you trade in your old one. That's right, $1,100. So if you want to beat the summer rush and save big, call on Reliance. Conditions apply. See website for details. Good morning. Baby, it's a brand new day. When you vacation with Norwegian Cruise Line, every day is a new day. Get a taste for Barcelona, then savor incredible dining back on board one day. Connect to ancient history in Athens, and then disconnect in our spa another day. Wherever the sea breeze takes you, come aboard and experience a different tomorrow with Norwegian. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Norwegian Cruise Line. Ships Registry, the Bahamas and USA. The rest of my life gonna start today. In Scarborough, this is fire behind our eyes. A passion in our bellies. It's in the hearts of our neighbors. The eyes of our nurses. And the hands of our doctors. It's what makes Scarborough, Scarborough. In our hospitals, we do more than anyone thought possible. With less than anyone could imagine. But it's time to imagine what we can do with more. Join Scarborough Health Network and together, we can turn grit into greatness. Donate at lovescarborough.ca. The Out of Town Scoreboard is brought to you by Maple Toyota. Build your next dream Toyota at Maple Toyota. Check out Maple Toyota's pre-owned inventory arriving daily. Guy, it's time to Toyota. Visit mapletoyota.com. 13 other games in the National Hockey League tonight. Red Wings and Canes scoreless midway through the first. After 20 minutes of play, Islanders and Panthers tied at one after the first period. Canadians 2-0 over the Flyers. Also after the first period, Senators 2-0 over Chicago. Likewise, at the end of the first period, Jackets and Penguins are scoreless. Meanwhile, starting at 8 o'clock, Sharks in Minnesota. Also at 8, Calgary and St. Louis. Golden uh, Knights are visiting the Jets. And at 9, Kings in Edmonton. Also at 9, Rangers in Colorado. At 10, Predators in Arizona. The Ducks in Seattle. And it ends with the Stars visiting the Canucks. That is your out-of-town sport scoreboard. This is Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN 1050, the Iron Radio app of the Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with two seconds left. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The points with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. Oh. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111-point pace. So they've gone head-to-head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Points with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! 
Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter-Miami game. Messi up over and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. The Power Play with Steve Coolius. Toronto? Yeah, they don't have a face card. Like, they don't have an ace. Morgan's a jack. They have so many non-face cards that these guys are going to have the bullpen by committee because the real truth is this. They got a good forward group. But if you don't defend against Boston and Florida, you're not seeing Boston or Florida in round two. That's the exam, and the test will be on this defense. The Power Play. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Join me, Ward Stellick, and Scott Laughlin as we recap the night that was on NHL Morning Skate, weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91. Another solid first period for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They are rewarded with a goal. It's one to nothing after the first, but they outshoot Washington. 19 to 9 in the first 20 minutes. Mark Giordano scores his second goal of the season from Matthew Nyes as the Leafs open the scoring. Austin Matthews had five shots on goal in that first period. You want to turn your mic on? They turn our mics off. Did you notice that? It depends. On, it depends. He's on our uh, current situation as to whether they're always on or we yeah. got to do it ourselves. Yeah. But what, but it, what about this back-to-back first periods? The Leafs out shoot the opposition 45 to 20. 44 to 20. And are even. Uh, production, what was right? it? What was it? 2-1? Wasn't it 2-1 New Jersey? Yeah. Yeah, 2-1. So they're, yeah, they're two, two. Two. yeah. Yeah. And Charlie Lindgren made some outstanding stops as well. And they have just, I mean, the guy that was coming up in Montreal's system behind Carey Price. How do you think you thought at the time your prospects were of making the National Hockey League? Went to St. Louis, had some great numbers and limited time with the Blues. And it's really been a godsend. They went and got Darcy Kemper after Colorado won the Stanley Cup. But for Charlie Lindgren, like I said, 15 of the last 16 he has started, including eight straight. 21-12-5 21-12-5 and five on the season. 2-4-0 and oh against the Maple Leafs. Puck has dropped and we're underway with the second period. Played down into the zone. Matthews taken to the boards there. Comes out of the scrum with it. Matthews stick handling back into the slot. Cross ice pass. Rink wide shot and that deflected wide. Then the rebound from behind the goal is tucked in by Bertuzzi. Lindgren got across, but he was down on his knees. And Bertuzzi quickly sends it back out in front. And off the goaltender and in, and the Leafs catch a break. I think Bertuzzi was the one that deflected the first shot. Wide and off the boards as he is positioned right in front of Lindgren. But Bertuzzi is the first one to it once it gets below the goal line off the boards and simply jams it back out front off Lindgren and in for the least in a 2-0 lead. Tough break for Lindgren, really. Now here the Leafs in with Tavares with a shot that was high over top of the goal. Puck down the boards and to the blue line. Another shot goes high and wide of the Washington cage. Kept in at the blue line. Labushkin with a shot in traffic. That was blocked. And the Caps will try to play it out and do and get it ahead for Dylan Strome. Strome will bank it into the zone. Out of the net is Wall. He finds an opening for Brody, and Brody gets it ahead and out at center ice. Rink wide now for Labushkin. Labushkin will ring the boards with it. Pinching down the wall to try to keep it alive was Pontus Holmberg, but it's cleared out at center ice. Labushkin frees it up. Brought in again by Holmberg. It goes around back of the goal. Holmberg trying to find an opening. Still with it, but then had it knocked off his stick. And the Caps just relieved the pressure by lifting it to the lead blue line. McCabe 
Quickly back the other way. Holmberg in across the line looking for Robertson. Shot coming from Nyes. That was stopped. Nyes around back of the net. Nyes works into the far corner. Nyes still with it. Nyes working back behind the goal. Still with it. Stops again. Still with it. Into the corner for Robertson. Back to the blue line it comes. Near side for McCabe. And that was redirected just in front. And a good pad save by Lindgren. Leafs pressing again. Near side. Nyes into the slot. And the shot went off a leg and went wide. Boy, he's had a great shift here. Has Matthew Nyes. Knocked down was Pontus Holmberg. Could have been a tripping call, but none comes. And LaPierre will get it out at center. Protus sending it in over the line. Right wing side. Caps trying to get a change in here. Have the puck in the leaf zone. Dropping it back for Alexiev. Trying to drive round back of the net. He comes out with it. Send it to the side of the goal. It comes back to the point. Caps twisting and turning with it. Dowd sends it off to the far side. Almost too many men on the ice. And a lead pass. Domi's in the breakaway. He's in a goal. Hit the goal post. I was right. Shot down into the leaf zone. Centering pass doesn't work. Horn went. No, sir. Not a good save made there by Wall at the other end. Boy, Max Domi pulled up as well. Well, we haven't heard a buzzer or a horn go off here to signal that they have to stop play, so yeah. we're assuming. Yeah, I think this was off the, off crossbar. the crossbar. Yeah, yep. over the right shoulder of Lindgren. Aaron Pass goes down on Wall. He's going to play it off now to Timmons. Timmons gets it ahead on the right wing, and David Camp stick handles around a broken stick, works around back of the net. Puck goes into the far corner, and Reeves couldn't come up with it. And out come the Capitals to center ice. McMichael, left wing side with a shot, blockered away there by Wall. Brought back the other way. Camp again with it. Slipping it into the right wing corner. Goes in there after it. Got it around the boards for Reeves. Reeves playing it back for Camp. Camp can't find an open man. But now it does come back to the blue line. Cleared into the right wing corner then by Brody. Reeves takes his man to the boards. Back of the net. Puck comes along for Labushkin. Labushkin looking to play it along the boards. Back into the corner and does. Camp had it knocked off his stick. Pinching in there was Brody, and it's knocked out at center ice, and it'll force Dewar to go back into his own zone. Labushkin gets his pass and sends it back in. Leafs continue to press. Here's Tavares rolling it through the gold crease. No one there to tap it home. But Tavares getting it back again. Played back to the blue line. Benoit into the corner. Nylander twisting and turning. Nylander looking with it back to the point and a drive in front of the net. The rebound! Knocked wide of the net. Lindgren had to come right out in front and he almost knocked it in his own goal with a stick. Chopped down into the Toronto end. Well, that was his own man hit a leaf trying to clear the puck up ice. Nylander twisting and turning with it. He starts out. Willie with 40 goals. 41 is his high, and it's going to be swallowed up and held for a faceoff in the Washington zone. If you're Charlie Lindman, you're going, all right. Leafs are up two, but Matthews, Nylander, not on the board yet on the goal scoring side. Matthews did pick up the second assist in the Bertuzzi goal. And talk about guys that are hot. How about Alexander Ovechkin, Joey? Eight goals in his first 43 games, 29 points. Yep. His last 25 games, 18 goals, 29 points. Willie has equaled his career high with 40. 41 would be a bit of a milestone for him as well because Max Sundin's best year as a Maple Leaf goal yep. scoring was 41. And uh, obviously the association between those two great Swedish players is very strong. But but isn't it funny that you just assume Sunday scored more than that? Yes. Yeah, I, it, I, it, I mean, without sitting down and looking at the numbers. No. I, 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 I would, when I heard that, I said, no, that can't be right. And then, of course, you... Well, well we know he didn't get 50, but no, really but, 41, and yeah. only hit that once. Played across the line and into the leaf zone. 
Far side it goes for LaPierre. Back into the slot area. Jensen with a shot. Scores! A point shot from Jensen beats Wall. That was redirected right in front of the Leaf goaltender. And Dowd is going to get credit for it. Boy, the Leafs give up a lot of these, don't we? Simple wrist shot. I mean, it's not a bad goal uh, if you're Joseph Wall, but it's a redirection. Down and skips past the Leaf goaltender. Short side, glove side. 5.27 the time of the goal from Dowd. And that's just his 10th uh, goal of the season. For Bertuzzi, his 17th of the year. Now brought in by Sandine, left wing side over on the right wing, a bouncing puck in the slot. Unable to handle it. A lead pass. Springs Nylander in on the right wing. And Lindgren comes across and is able to swallow that up. You should see how Willie Nylander takes this pass. And is it John Tavares, Joe, that launches it out of the leaf zone? But Tavares, Nylander's got his back to the play and just turns and it's right on his backhand as he sifts in and tries to go five hole on Lindgren. But that was sort of a video game pass, right? Was it ever? No, nobody's watching where the puck is. It just ends up on a stick. Brody and Matthews assisting on the Bertuzzi goal, and Matthews now has tied Willie Nylander for the team lead in points. But 94... Played down into the Toronto zone. Lead cut in half. Both teams scoring here in the second period. Puck knocked along the boards by Dylan Strom. It goes back at the net. Pacioretty lost it. The penalty. And a tripping call coming here against Toronto. And is it Tavares going to the box? Boy, in Toronto, but Tavares was upset first. Big power play for the Caps. And we'll be back with it. The Leafs with a 2-1 lead. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. Alpine News Network is here live with one of our superheroes. I just helped Tom with a business loan. He needed to soup up his mechanic shop. Not to brag, but I once modified a car to match my ultra speed. It went so fast, it broke the speed of sound. <laughs> At least no one was inside. I hope no one was inside. I guess I'll just stick to approving business loans. Own your home? Need a loan? Alpine Credits can help. Alpine Credits, where homeowners get approved. Just for license 12616. Do you love deli meat but are careful about your sodium intake? Try new Schneider's Deli Meat with the delicious taste you've come to expect from Schneider's. Now with 25% less sodium than regular deli meats. They're crafted in Canada using only Schneider's premium cuts of meat, and they're an excellent source of protein. Try all five new deli meats, including smoked black forest ham and herb turkey from Schneider's, trusted by Canadians for over 130 years. Brand power helping you buy better. Did you fix that leaky tap? Uh-huh. How about that loose doorknob? Uh-huh. Right now, we can get a free medium pizza from Two for One Pizza. Did somebody say free pizza? See, it's not just the kids that have selective hearing. Right now, get a free medium one-topping pizza with a minimum $25 purchase before tax and delivery. Limited time offer. Online orders only. Visit 2 for one pizzacom and use coupon code FREEM. Leafs have outshot Washington 26 to 13, but are forced to kill a penalty here as uh, Tavares is in the box for tripping. And the penalty kill is brought to you by CMC Markets. Take your trading to the next level with $0 commission on stocks. Face off in the Toronto zone. Strom will face off. Uh, the linesmen are upset about some order of business. Now the puck is dropped. Washington wins the draw. Pass intercepted, though, and the Leafs are going to get clear of it on the backhand as Camp sends it down the ice. 
Tavares two for triple. Kind of a ball. tough call on Tavares, who was knocked down. His stick was on the ice, and the Washington player tripped over the stick. Played back to the blue line and near side for Ovechkin. Back of the net. Strom centered in front of the goal. It comes back to the blue line. Now to Ovi and a shot. And fighting that off was uh, Wall as it goes over top of the goal. Back to the blue line. Kept alive there by Carlson. Carlson again trying to send it in. It goes off a stick, but a diving attempt doesn't clear it out. Kept alive by Washington. Ovechkin in the near corner. Works back to the top of the circles with a shot that is blocked there by Brody. And T.J. Brody ices the puck. He's had a piece of his equipment come loose on his skate, so he gets to the bench on that shot block. And the Leafs again get a turnover and ice the puck. 53 seconds left to go in the power play. Second of the game for Washington. Brought on at center now by McMichael. Rattled around the boards to the far side. That's chopped and grabbed off by Mark Giordano, and he sends it down the ice. Leafs get a wholesale change on the penalty killers. Brought out by Sandine. Dropped it back. Carried on by Connor McMichael. Broken up at the Leaf defense. Grabbed off by Nylander. He circles back to the side of his own goal. Gets a look down ice and sends it the rest of the way. You know, he had thoughts of taking off, oh, didn't he? he? Did, <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, did it. Out brought on at center by Garbosa. Intercepted, and the Leafs have done an excellent job here, and the penalty is over. I don't think Wall had a shot, did he? The Ovechkin one that... I don't know oh, if he got right. a piece of that or yeah, not. Yeah, I thought he did. Yeah, you're right. Played down into the corner. One of the Capitals is slow to get up. That's Nick Dowd. The puck in along the boards. Dowd kicks it, and the Leafs are able to break it out at center ice. Matthews pulling his way to the line and in on the right side. Domi tried to tip it in further. Goes back of the net. Jensen lost it there. Domi centers. Here's Bertuzzi whacking at it, and he was tripped up and knocked down. The puck goes into the corner. Around the wall, it'll come to the near side. Timmons pinching there to keep it in against Fervari, and now along on the far side, the Capitals will get it out at center ice. Leafs leading 2-1. to one. Both teams have scored here in the second period, and we've got 11 minutes to go in it. Connor Timmons gets it up on the right side. Leafs were getting in a little early. That forced Robertson to come back into neutral ice and then couldn't get to it. And the Caps have uh, broken out at center, and a long lead pass is knocked down in on goal, and Wall had to steer that aside. Van Riemsdyk at the blue line. Back to the point and onto the near side. The pass too far for Lapierre. Back of the net. Into the far corner goes uh, Pontus Holmberg. Holmberg has it in his skates. That's drawn a crowd, and a scrum goes on in the far corner. Knocked down there, and Holmberg has his man pinned to the wall. In goes the Leafs trying to pry it along the boards and Brody well we'll let you know when it does come free now it does there's a pass in front that was intercepted nicely there by Matthew Nyes that was now, good because nobody else was no. in front pass Nyes breaks it up gets it to the line but lost it here's a pass onto the right wing side and a flip in front of the goal stopped by Wall and he's down to cover up on it boy this has been a problem for the Leafs isn't it Nice ended up having the overskating and had to kick it up to his stick and then lost it as he was reaching for it. And the Caps were storming back the other way, and Joseph Wall is able to stop it. It is 2 1 in favor of the Maple Leafs. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. Well, this is a moment for me. From 70s disco divas to today's viral sensations. It's Kylie Minogue to celebrate Women's History Month. I'll be spotlighting my career as well as the iconic ladies of dance music. Series XM's Women of Dance. Hosted by me. For a limited time on Channel 107 and year-round on the all-new Series XM app.
Hockey 24 7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. Sirius XM, NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. And on your schedule with the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the National Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, wrist the line, and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! And each other play by play on Sirius XM. Second period brought to you by Molson. Whether it's Canadian, Ultra, Export, or XL, there's a Molson with your name on it. Well, past the midway mark of the second period, the Leafs have already hit the 25 shot mark. Obviously not quite the same pace as we saw in the opening period. Played out at center ice by Toronto. Capitals steer it back into neutral ice. Grabbed off by Tavares, but it comes and volleyballed out at center ice finally by Connor Timmons. John Carlson got it ahead to the late blue line. Timmons unable to get to it, but gets some support from the captain and Tavares. Breaks it through center ice. Tavares in across the line. Got a shot away and it was high and wide. The rebound to the Willie. And the shot has stopped the rebound. Comes back to the blue line. Timmons with a shot that was caromed off a body in front. And the Caps get it out at center ice. And Carlson knocked down by Timmons. And Tavares back along the boards to get the puck freed up. But Timmons turns it over. Now trying to get it back from Oshi. And they'll do that. And it is... Tavares in his own zone, just lifting it high into neutral ice. Nylander unable to reach it. Strom comes back for Washington. Left wing side. Made a nice move to get around Timmons. He's in a goal! And that was just wide as Strom may have had this stick lifted at the last second there. Now here's Reeves into the, tar- into the Washington zone. Gets it back on the boards and it's pumped around the wall by McCabe. David Camp sending it in front of the net. Backhand scores! Connor Dewar! His first is a Maple Leaf! On a scramble in front of the net. Makes it 3-1 Toronto. And this is exactly the kind of goal you would expect from your fourth line. Get pucks deep. Win the one-on-one battles and go to the net. And Connor Dewar was, I mean, fortunate that there were two deflections off skates that had the puck as David Camp threw it towards the net. And I think Ryan Reeves might have been the last leaf to kick it before it got to Dewar, who just swept it blocker side around Charlie Lindgren to restore the Leafs' two-goal lead. First in the Leaf uniform, his 11th of the season. And the Leafs have restored the two-goal lead. They'll play it ahead, and Domi is away. On the left wing for Bertuzzi. Matthews trying to get a lead pass, but it was just out of his reach. And it slides in uh, rather slowly to Lindgren, who is going to cover up. But, boy, and, and I believe it was Mark Giordano that made the defensive play on Dylan Strom. Just seconds before. Lifted the stick. It looked like Strom was going to be able to walk around Joseph Wall and tuck it around his left pad. And Giordano got back with a stick lift. Yeah, Ryan Reeves is going to get an assist for booting this one at the hash marks onto the stick of Connor Dewar. Played out at center ice. Leafs turn it back up ice and in across the line. Bertuzzi going hard to the net, but it's cleared out at center ice, and now here are the Capitals breaking. 
And across the line is T.J. Oshie. Oshie plays it down to the side and a quick shot swallowed up by Wall off the stick of Nicholas Obe Kubel. And that will stop play with 7.41 to go. Camp and Reeves drawing the assist. Doerr with his 11th of the campaign. Faisal will stay in the leaf zone to the right of Joseph Wall. You know, ever since everybody complained about secondary scoring, there's been a lot of secondary scoring. Well, it helped, it helped when you took Mitch Marner out of the lineup. <laughs> they were able to put in another secondary scorer. Yeah. <laughs> Face off in the leaf zone. McMichael taking the draw for Washington. And Tavares won that face-off. The Leafs have been dominating in the face-off circle here tonight. Pass onto the far side. Our long rink-wide feed looking for Nylander. Goes astray, but it's going to be on goal. No icing, and Sandine turns back up ice with a pass ahead at center. Oshie in on the right side. We'll try to get it into the slot. Ovechkin in there, and the pass was intercepted. Tavares doing a nice job of back-checking. Leaves to the line and in on the left wing. Here's McMahon trying to center, but it was blocked and knocked back of the net. Cleared to the line and just kept in by Connor Timmins. Around back of the goal now for Carlson. He's double teamed over there, but the Caps are able to poke it free. And Sandine is in a bit of a lone ranger rush. Drops for Ovechkin. Ovechkin sends it to the right wing side. A centering pass knocked through uh, the slot area by the Leafs. Timmons after a loose puck in the far wing. Chipped it ahead, but the Leafs don't get it out. Timmons in the battle against the boards far side. Still free as it's cleared high to the side of the Leaf goal. Played back to the blue line. Van Riemsdyk walks the line. Gets it back in a wrist shot taken by Mir Shachenko. Went wide to the net. you got to say that young man's name very quickly. Because that is the longest in the National Hockey League. Long shot is gloved here by Wall. M-I-R-O-S-H-N-I-C-H-E-N-K-O. They even have to have smaller font for his name tag on the back. Otherwise, it would be down around his elbows. I tell you, well, Miro's had a great year, hasn't he? Love Miro. <laughs> <laughs> Time to come up with the abbreviated nickname. Oh, yes. How about Ivan? We'll just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I do remember a game years ago. Ivan Novoselsev came Nova in with the Seltzer. Florida Panthers. Yes. Scored two goals his first game. Yeah. It's easier to say when you don't read it. No. Exactly. <laughs> the first game, and I remember thinking, God, I hope he doesn't score. <laughs> <laughs> Offside at the Washington Blue Line. 6.06 to go second period. As we mentioned, the Leafs are in Buffalo on Saturday night. And I'm sure a lot of Leaf fans will be making the trek across the Skyway and uh, Peace Bridge. Uh, the Islanders now up in the Florida Panthers, 3-2. Brody backhands the puck in over the line for Reeves. Couldn't quite reach it in time. Takes his man to the boards in the corner. Puck in their skates. Dug out now and out come the Capitals on the left wing. Brought in on the wing now. Here's Lapierre with a chance. His shot carried wide of the net. Van Riemsdyk plays it back of the goal. Lapierre couldn't get to it. It comes back to the point, and it's going to bounce out at center ice as Van Riemsdyk couldn't get there in time to keep it in. Played back in, and the Caps will get a change going here in this second period with the long change. Brody to Labushkin. Tipped into the zone. Leap get their defense core change. Centering pass cut off there by Washington. And it is Pacioretty sending it high on a bounce that is stolen back by Domi. Domi in over the line with Matthews. The pass for Bertuzzi hopped over his stick. And as he tried to center, it was blocked. He gets it again. Bertuzzi in the corner sent it right through the gold crease. No one there. Kept in at the blue line by McCabe. But his speed was intercepted. And it's cleared back out at center ice now for Jensen. Jensen on the right wing, chops it in front of the goal, and a quick shot there just went wide of the leap net. Bertuzzi gets it back through center. He's going to force things a little deeper to get his line mates a chance to change, and now he will do likewise. 
as Oshie gets it ahead to Ovechkin. His shot went off a leg and caroms high into the air. Ovechkin settles it down. Back to the point to Sandine and a shot. Blockered away nicely there by Wall. Cleared on the backhand. The Leafs are going to get it out. But Sandine is there to play it back on the wing to Oshie. And now ahead for Ovechkin. Ovechkin to the right wing side. Cross ice now for McMichael. He had it taken away. Pushed ahead and the Leafs have a two-on-one break. Nylander in with a shot. And that was kicked away nicely by Lindgren. Nylander may have been playing for the rebound there. Long shoot in goes the length of the ice. From the wrong side of center. And an icing call coming here against Washington. Three minutes and 56 seconds remain in the period. That's where it's a little different. Usually you get that big rebound on a shot that's low blocker. And this is where it might play with the opposite or the uh, the Leafs a little bit with Lindgren being left-handed. As he was able to kick that out a little more on an angle. But yeah, Nylander's definitely trying to do that. The pass was taken away, but he had Tavares going to the far post. And Nylander wasn't a hard shot either. Just kind of lobbed it in off the right pad, but rebound was kicked past John Tavares. Leafs get it ahead and in over the line. Pass in for Matthews. All right, trying to get it is uh, Robertson. Matthews being double shifted here. Centering pass. Robertson in front for Matthews. Oh, what a save. The rebound is still free in the goal crease area. They're back away at it. And Lindgren is going to get control of the puck finally. Oh, Austin Matthews again as the puck on a stick inside he had the hash marks. Rit all over that, didn't it? Yep, and Lindgren comes up with another great stop. And then as he fell forward, the puck squirted loose, and the Leafs were jamming away before Lindgren was able to cover it up again. 3.31 to play in the second. The Leafs up 3 to 1. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. And now it's time for our Subaru weather report. So, Harold, what's it looking like? Jim, we can expect more thunderstorms as the evening approaches, and then overnight... Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, can I get uh, two number sixes with a side of curly fries? Hold the onions, please. Yeah. Uh, Harold, are you in the drive-thru right now? Jim, no one listens to this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, great. Weather reports don't matter when you drive a Subaru. Visit your local Subaru dealer today and book a test drive during the all-weather drive event. Hi, Anthony Longo here. At Longo's, we put as much care into our products as you do into family meals. So this Easter, we recommend our AAA boneless strip loin roasts and steaks, naturally aged for at least 21 days, so you're getting the most tender beef around. You'll see why 68 years in the biz makes us Ontario's favorite grocery store. And just in time for Easter, these top-selling AAA roasts and steaks are an unbelievable 30% off. For quality that meets your family standards, trust ours, Longo's. Find your Easter meal for less at Walmart with our guaranteed lowest advertised price on selected Easter meal essentials like hickory smoked bone and ham. Now only one thirty-seven per pound. On for a limited time. Start saving online at walmart.ca or in store today. The world is changing and Upskills for Work Get Started resources can help you adapt, learn new skills and build confidence. Get Started is free and easy to use. Improve your skills for work and life. Get started today at upskillsforwork.ca. Maple Leafs are 7-1 and one in their last eight games against the Washington Capitals. It's kind of strange, right? We see their, their winning streak against the Philadelphia Flyers. And when Philadelphia beat the Leafs 4-3 the last time, final time those two teams met during the regular season. Draw one by Toronto. Comes back to the point. Labushkin on the wing for Domi. He slid it wide of the net. Wrap around attempt there by Matthews. Oh. Swallowed up again. He could have four tonight. <laughs> well, right now they have Austin Matthews at, I think that is shot on goal number eight. Eight. At five in the first period. Well, there is no secret if the Leafs are going to make any noise in the postseason, then the season that Austin Matthews has had in the regular year is going to have to continue in the postseason. And that's going to hold true with a number of other players as well. Oh, absolutely. 
Brought in now by the Capitals. Long shot. Blockered away nicely by Wall. Into the near corner it goes. Matthews trying to free it up. And it's poked back along the boards by Labushkin, who does a great job of getting it out. Now Domi feeds it in on the right side for Matthews, trying to get around Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk played to the left wing side. Domi cuts it off, centering pass, looking for Bertuzzi. Didn't work. The Leafs will have to go back into their own end to grab the loose puck. And Benoit has it there. Long up goes off the stick. No, apparently not. Matthews didn't make contact, says the linesman. So an icing call with 2.40 to go on the period will come back into the Toronto zone. Ice has been fairly solid defensively tonight, haven't they? I mean, 19 shots against. But they've been able to cut down on the odd man rushes against. I mean, those back-to-back games against Carolina and then New Jersey. Leafs gave up a ton. Breakaways, two-on-ones. Draw to the left of Wall. Won by the Caps and a quick one-timer by Matthews, or by Ovechkin rather, didn't work. Brought in over the line by Toronto to the near side. Played by Matthews back behind the goal. Knocked down on the play was Jensen. Matthews with the puck on the near corner boards then had it taken away by Sandine. And Jensen goes into the far corner to play it out into the center ice area and David Camp is there. He'll drop it off to Jake McCabe. McCabe returns the favor. Camp across the line, backhanding it off the glass, back of the net. Unable to get there in time was Connor Dewar, and it's out at center ice, and Reeves gets back there to free it up for Giordano, and Giordano sends it around on the boards to the near side to his defense partner, Connor Timmons. Timmons steps out. A pass up on the right wing, off the stick of Reeves and into the zone. Reeves down the boards, gets a hit in there on the defenseman uh, Fervari, and the puck comes out at center, and the Leafs send it right back in again. Dewar against the boards into the corner is Camp. Reeves arrives on the scene, still with it, trying to knock it in front of the goal, and it's going to be played up on the wing, but stepping in there nicely was Labushkin to intercept and clear it back behind the net. 118 to go in the period. Caps coming out slowly to center. Play it in on the right wing. Get a return pass. Nicely taken away by Re- or by Matthew Nyes. And Nyes unable to get it into the Washington zone as the Caps get it down into the Toronto end. Played up on the wing. Nyes battles against the boards. Can't get it past the defenseman. Played back behind the net into the near corner in the leaf zone. Chipped up on the wing, off the boards, trying to get it out there and not doing it was uh, Nylander. A puck to the far side. Van Riemsdyk with a shot. Cleared into the corner by Tavares. And Tavares plays it through center to the blue line and brought in over the line but unable to get free was Nyes. 23 seconds left in the period. Played right back down into the Toronto zone. McCabe. Got it up on the wing, chipped ahead. Nyes needs to get it out, and he does. Near side, and Pontus Holmberg plays it deeper into Washington territory. Under 10 seconds to play in the period. Cleared back out at center. Nick Robertson gets it under control, back in his own end to run out the clock. So the Leafs, leaders 1-0 after the first period, opened up a 2-0 lead when Bertuzzi scored from Brody and Matthews. But then Dowd from Jensen and Lapierre made it 2-1. But Dewar from Camp and Reeves at 11.38 restores the Toronto two-goal lead. It's 3-1. My favorite part of that period, Joe, nothing against in the last five minutes. And that that has really been something that the Leafs have been guilty of, giving up those late goals in a period. And it's cost them in the standings. 33 shots for the Maple Leafs, 19 for the Capitals after 40 minutes. We'll ship it off to Mr. Taddy and company. It is uh, 3-1 Toronto. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. 
They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think we've come to expect it. It's their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Laughlin and Gord Stone. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The points with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111 point pace. So they've gone head to head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Points with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hockey 24-7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. And on your schedule with the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the National Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hey Toronto, I'm David Morissuti, host of the daily Toronto Me Please podcast, Locked On Least, part of the Locked On Podcast Network on the SiriusXM app. Every weekday, we bring you the latest Leafs news and analysis, break down all the action, including this game you're listening to right now, and preview the next one. We're giving you everything a Leafs fan could want, all in a daily 30-minute podcast. Download Locked On Leafs right now on the SiriusXM app, available with all trials and popular plans, or where you get your podcast. Search Locked On. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter-Miami game. Messi up over and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. Join me, Ward Stellick, and Scott Laughlin as we recap the night that was on NHL Morning Skate weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91. Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey is on TSN 1050 and the Leafs Radio Network. The Leafs live here. Into the Washington zone. Gets it back on the boards and it's pumped around the wall by McCabe. David Camp sending it in front of the net. Backhand scores! Connor Dewar! His first is a Maple Leaf! On a scramble in front of the net, makes it 3-1 Toronto. And that's where we stand after 40 minutes of play. Leaves 3, Washington 1. TSN after 40, delivered by 241 Pizza. Get a free medium one-topping pizza with a $25 minimum purchase before tax and delivery. Online orders only. Visit 241pizza.com. Use the code free M or free for pizza opportunity. <laughs> Jim Taddy and Josh Cloak with you live from Scotiabank Arena. And so, uh, uh, contrary to what you think I'm going to say, Austin Matthews has nine shot attempts. Sunday against Carolina, I believe he had 12. This guy's about to have a massive game somewhere along the way. He might be, but the fact that they haven't needed to rely on him so far yeah. is encouraging. 
right? You Absolutely. Look up and down. Tyler Bertuzzi, Mark Giordano, Connor Dewar. If you can get that kind of production against a decent team like Washington, you are in a completely different spot. And, right? I, and each one of those three goals has its own story. Well, they're... For the most part, I mean, I'm thinking about the Dewar and the Bertuzzi goal. Ugly goals. Yeah. Right? And they don't ask you how. They ask you how many. But, you, you know, again, come playoff time, you need goals to go off goalies' butts. You need kind of these these wild goals like, like Connor Dewar's goal. Again, that's not one he's, he's going to frame. But the fact that, you know, this is a Leafs team that's getting to the net, right? They're, 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 they're trying everything in front of the net. Um, these kind of ugly goals still count, and they count that much more in the playoffs. Um, and it's encouraging, right? It's encouraging if you can get a little bit of offense from that line, the David Camp line, that I think has been designated as the, the shutdown line. If you can get a little bit of offense from that line here and there, you're in a much, much better situation. So going back to the pregame, when we talked about goaltender injury, just before the doer goal, maybe seconds before, uh, wall stretched. I mean, I couldn't stretch a hundred bucks that far. I mean, he literally was fully extended, and I almost missed the goal because I kept watching him flex his left leg just to make sure everything was okay. That was uh, Gumby like. Yeah, and and I think there's going to be some concern um, within the Leafs, within the coaching staff, probably for the, the rest of the season over him. Right? I know that there was a lot of concern about rushing him back with the high ankle sprain. They were uber uber cautious. Um, probably bringing him back, I would bet, even a few weeks later than, than he probably could have been brought back. So, yeah, I'm sure there were a lot of clenched teeth at that point. But he recovered. And I think, look, you know, one goal allowed on, on 19 shots. And that one goal that Joseph Wall did allow was a tip. Uh, a lot of positives so far, his performance included. Yeah, absolutely. And just while we're on the injury thing, if you go yep. back to Saturday night uh, with, what, a couple of minutes to go, Samsonov goes down and that looks really bad. And it's not. But you don't know, right? No, you don't know. And, and, and I mean, but that, those are goaltenders for you. They're, yeah. they're strange. They can move in ways that, that us mere mortals can't. Um, but I, I, I like this play a lot. I like this play just as much in the second period as I did in the first. Uh, Steady. Really, really composed, yeah. you know. And um, this is a Washington team that, that did press a little bit for stretches in the second period. Yeah. Um, you can see why they're in the race. If you give them a couple of minutes, they can bury you. I mean, they're, 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 they're persistent. But this is the kind of game that Joe Wall really, really needed, right? I, I, I thought, you know, kind of lost in uh, Sheldon Keefe calling out John Tavares was him really singling out Joseph Wall as well and saying he's allowed the first shot in his last two games. We yeah. need a save there. Yep. It's It's been rare for Sheldon Keefe to call out Joseph Wall. Anytime he does talk about him, he talks about him in such a glowing manner in his, his mental state, but he was to the point. He's like, we need a save there. Well, look, if you're in a playoff series, you have to have the better goalie. And for him to rebound and have the kind of performance he does tonight, this is the kind of, like, I, I thought he played really, really well against Carolina. But the loss is, is, is the result, yeah. right? So if you can keep it going here, again, this is what you want. You do want that competition between your two goaltenders going into the playoffs. Well, look, the roster's full of that. You know, aside from the core players, uh, in, in terms of what everybody else is doing, there is competition. You better do what the coach wants you to do or there's an opportunity for you to sit in the bench or in the press box. Just stop the puck. That's that's all he needs to be doing right now. Yeah, uh, and freezing but, pucks really well. But but I mean on, for forwards and defensemen too. Yeah, and so so a goal like Connor Dewar's is, is going to undoubtedly build some confidence for him. Get him playing with a little bit more, or, or I guess just the, the knowledge that he can score, the knowledge that he can uh, I've liked, find the back of the net. I've liked pretty well every shift he's had as a leaf. He just he, he brings it at both ends. Yeah, right. It's just a little bit of. You know, uh, uh, there's some some ugliness to his game. There's there's he's not afraid to mix it up. Um, he plays bigger than he is, yeah. And I, I I think that's really important. He again is the type of player that you're probably going to notice a lot more in the playoffs, where it's just a hit here and there to eliminate pressure, to to rub a guy out and and help you know force a turnover. Um, those kind of plays go a long way in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, but again, like if you can just he had 10 goals, right? He's, yeah. it's, it's not as if he's a black hole offensively. No. Right? He can he can skate really, really well. He can play with the puck. Um, 
And if you can just get a little bit of that here and there, just a little, you think things will look in incredibly different for them. Any any depth that you could add uh, in the bottom six scoring wise is uh, almost like a two to one ratio. It just has that much more value, doesn't it? It does. And again, like you're not going to get like that kind of offense a lot. But it's it's just a reminder. That's all it is. Yeah. And, oh yeah, it's we there. can score. We can play. You know, we literally we can just throw it on net if we need to, right? And 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 that's important. It just for if you're Connor Dewar as well, it just helps you relax a little bit too. You can see the pressure kind of come off. He's comfortable as a Maple Leaf, and the Leafs are comfortable with the score. Three one over the Washington Capitals after forty minutes of play. This is Bulls of Canadian Leafs hockey on TSN ten fifty, the iHeartRadio app, and the Leafs Radio Network. Alpine News Network is here live with one of our superheroes. I just helped Tom with a business loan. He needed to soup up his mechanic shop. Not to brag, but I once modified a car to match my ultra speed. It went so fast, it broke the speed of sound. Approved. At least no one was inside. I hope no one was inside. I guess I'll just stick to approving business loans. Own your home? Need a loan? Alpine Credits can help. Alpine Credits, where homeowners get approved. Just for license 12616. Do you love deli meat but are careful about your sodium intake? Try new Schneider's Deli Meat with the delicious taste you've come to expect from Schneider's. Now with 25% less sodium than regular deli meats. They're crafted in Canada using only Schneider's premium cuts of meat. And they're an excellent source of protein. Try all five new deli meats including smoked black forest ham and herb turkey from Schneider's. Trusted by Canadians for over 130 years. Brand power helping you buy better. Will I need a new air conditioner this summer? Predicting record-breaking heat? Huh. You might not know the best time to get a new air conditioner, but we do. Right now, with the Reliance Home Comfort Trade-In Event, you can get $1,100 in credit towards your new AC when you trade in your old one. That's right, $1,100. So if you want to beat the summer rush and save big... Call on Reliance! Conditions apply. See website for details. When you vacation with Norwegian Cruise Line, every day is a new day. Get a taste for Barcelona, then savor incredible dining back on board one day. Connect to ancient history in Athens, and then disconnect in our spa another day. Wherever the sea breeze takes you, come aboard and experience a different tomorrow with Norwegian. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Norwegian Cruise Line, ships registry the Bahamas and USA. The rest of my life gonna start today. The world is changing, and Upskills for Work Get Started resources can help you adapt, learn new skills, build confidence, and move forward. Get Started workbooks are free and easy to use, online, anytime and anywhere, so you can learn at your own pace. Whether you're looking for a job or want to move up in your field, Get Started empowers you with skills like collaboration, adaptability, and problem solving. Improve your skills for work and life. Get started today at upskillsforwork.ca. And now it's time for our Subaru weather report. So, Harold, what's it looking like? Jim, we can expect more thunderstorms as the evening approaches, and then overnight... Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, can I get uh, two number sixes with a side of curly fries? Hold the onions, please. Yeah. Uh, Harold, are you in the drive through right now? Jim, no one listens to this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, great. Weather reports don't matter when you drive a Subaru. Visit your local Subaru dealer today and book a test drive during the all-weather drive event. The Out of Town Scoreboard is brought to you by Maple Toyota. Build your next dream Toyota at Maple Toyota. And check out Maple Toyota's pre owned inventory arriving daily. Guy, I think it's time to Toyota. Visit mapletoyota.com. In the second period, Carolina 3 0 over Detroit. A lot of these are after 40 minutes of play until I tell you otherwise. It is the Islanders 3 2 over the Panthers. Montreal 2 0 over the Flyers. Senators 2 0 over Chicago. Penguins and Jackets tied at 2. End of the first. Wild 1 0 over the Sharks. After 20 minutes of play, Calgary 2 1 over St. Louis. Also after 20 minutes of play, Golden Knights 1 0 over the Jets. Getting set to start at 9. Uh, the LA Kings in Edmonton. The Rangers in Colorado against the Avs at 10. Predators in Arizona. Also at 10. Ducks in Seattle and the Stars in Vancouver against the Canucks. In our game, 3-1 for the Leafs over Washington after 40 minutes of play. This is Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN 1050, the iHeart Radio app and the Leafs Radio Network.
Baseball is back, and you can hear every MLB game on Sirius XM. This team never stops. Hear your hometown announcers on the all-new Sirius XM app. They celebrate at home play. And talk baseball every day with our team of former players and executives on MLB Network Radio, Channel 89. There's just something about opening day of the Major League Baseball season. Get closer to the action on Sirius XM and the all-new Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think we've come to expect it. It's their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stellar. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hey Toronto, I'm David Morris Duty, host of the daily Toronto Me Please podcast, Locked On Leafs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network on the Sirius XM app. Every weekday, we bring you the latest Leafs news and analysis, break down all the action, including this game you're listening to right now, and preview the next one. We're giving you everything a Leafs fan could want, all in a daily 30-minute podcast. Download Locked On Leafs right now on the Sirius XM app, available with all trials and popular plans. Or where you get your podcast, search Locked On. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter Miami game. Messi up over him! And get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Ray Hudson, and for all the biggest matches from Club Soccer's Holy Grail, the UEFA Champions League, tune in to Sirius XM FC 157. Austin Matthews trying to become the ninth player in NHL history to have multi-60 goal seasons. And he, how he has not gotten his 60th tonight is beyond me. He has dominated the play. He's had seven shots on goal. Two of them have been blocked and has had a number of Guilt edge scoring chances. Yeah, Charlie Lindgren has been great. And I mean, a number of chances were wide open. In this, well, not wide open, but Matthews doesn't need to be wide open to get a great shot off. But right between the hash marks. What, three maybe? Yep. Leaves to the right. Puck is dropped. And Ovechkin can't get to it in time as it is knocked into the Toronto bench and out of play. They'll do it all over again from that same spot. That seemed like at the start of the year, Alex Ovechkin was stuck at five goals forever. Didn't it? As he yep. said, he only had, what was it, nine goals in the first? This could eight. take an hour and a half. <laughs> well, keep, I'll go through it, every it, goal. It's <laughs> gone into the bench again. <laughs> uh, eight, eight goals in the first 43, 18 in the last 25. <laughs> Oh, we got some play going now with a pass ahead deflected by Bertuzzi down in on goal. Lindgren will leave it for Sandine. And Sandine starts out for Washington. A pass ahead deflects in over the Toronto line. Brody is able to secure it. Finds Domi coming through center with Bertuzzi. And with Matthews who had his stick knocked out of his hands. And the Capitals come away with it. And now we'll start out. Sandine, rink wide, deflects in off Dylan Strom. McCabe, a little reverse up against the boards. Leafs get it up ahead, but Bertuzzi couldn't get it out. It goes around back of the net. McCabe is there. Far side, Bertuzzi to the near wing. And Benoit had to help out and then plays it high off the glass. And this gives Tavares a chance. Tavares in with the pass in front of the net. A shot. Oh, and a big score! Honestly thought Lindgren had stopped the puck. But he slid across. Oh boy. And the one timer from Willie is going to find the back of the net. It looked like Lindgren got most of it. 
and just popped off his left pad and up and over. Is it Bobby McMahon who's going to get the goal? Yeah, Nylander had gone to the net but didn't have to finish it off over the goal line. As McMahon let it go, and it was actually, I think it was Nick Jensen, the Washington defenseman, Joe. Yeah, who, who was out. he was right there with Nylander in the crease. Yep, and it went in off the uh, went in off the Washington defenseman. But what an effort by Lindgren to come across! But it is 4-1 Toronto and a huge goal to start this third period. So Bobby McMahon, 14 now. The Rocket has 14. Speaking of first, second half versus first half. Yeah, Giordano across the line. Tavares with a shot that is into the glove of Lindgren. And he will hold on. Well, the Leafs, last time they faced the Capitals, Washington was on a three-game winning streak coming back from the West Coast. The Leafs were able to stop that. And now it's another three-game winning streak for the Capitals that the Leafs have an opportunity to end. 14th of the year for McMahon. There's some crazy scores on the other town scoreboard, too. Strength of schedule, Mr. Ralph. Yes. Strength of schedule. Always remember that. That's the most ridiculous stat that people come up with. In a league with this much parity, yeah. Yep. In across the line. Played back into the corner. Chipped along the boards by Giordano. Comes back up on the wing, and the Leafs' nigh starts away with it. Matthew Nyes to the line and in on the left wing for Robertson. Robertson with a sharp angle shot that was stopped there by Lindgren. And it'll be played ahead by Obe Kubel and down into the Toronto zone. Robertson gets back, took a high stick in the mouth. The official was right there, but somehow West McCauley didn't quite see that. Benoit and Tavares drawing the assist on the McMahon goal. Puck in the Toronto end, played into the far corner. In goes Robertson after it. It comes back at the net, banked to the blue line. Trapped there and sent right back in along the boards by Alexiev. The Caps get it back to the point. Obey Kubel has it knocked away. And now David Camp circling in his own end, tries to find some open ice and plays it back into his own zone to allow the rest of his line mates to change. Benoit, a pass ahead for Camp. Knocked down into the corner, but the Capitals are back there to organize. Van Riemsdyk skates through center. Trevor Van Riemsdyk playing it in. Out of the net is Wall. Played it back into the corner for McCabe. Up the middle of the ice to Camp. And then his feet, looking for Dewar, didn't connect. Reeves intercepts a pass in the center ice area and then just chips it in and heads to the bench. The Leafs four, the Washington Capitals one. And we'll get the other scores in here to a complicated let you thing. know yeah, how things are being complicated as far as the Capitals are being concerned. Played ahead for Matthews. Matthews in on the left wing. A pass into the slot area for Domi. Nicely handled and centered in front of the goal. And Bertuzzi couldn't get his stick down onto the ice to get a shot in the goal crease area. Protus gets it back into the slot and got a shot away, but it's going to go off his stick and up into the screen and out of play. All right, let's go quickly to the out-of-town scoreboard. I know Jim Taddy updated during the intermissions. The New York Islanders scrambling to get in. 3-2, they lead the Florida Panthers in the third period. Uh, Philadelphia on the board, but it's 2-1 Montreal in the third. And Flyers heard out of the wood jet as far as the playoff spot. Uh, who else we got? Carolina leading the Red Wings 4 to nothing. So you've got Detroit, Philadelphia. Washington. Washington. All fine for a playoff spot and trailing so far tonight. And, and two playoff spots, really, isn't it? Brought to center on the left wing now for McMahon. In against the boards. Chipped back on the wall then by Miroshichenko, but the puck comes back to the blue line. Here's Brody walking to the middle of the ice. Didn't shoot it. Drops it off to Nylander. Back to Brody and the shot in traffic. Lindgren down. And a good job boxing out there by the Washington defense. And Lindgren is able to stop play. 
I mean, this is where it gets a little dicey when, you know, because of the NHL's playoff format, who gets in? The, uh, right now, Tampa's in the first wild card spot with 87. The Flyers are third in the Metro with 82. So, I mean, that could be one of those where you finish, you know, in your division above two other teams in the other division, and they both get in and you're going home. Two of the hotter players, Bertuzzi and McMahon, have scored here tonight. McMahon, now in his last five games, four goals, one assist. And Tyler Bertuzzi in 11 games, or in his last 19 games, has 11 goals. At the point, a long shot makes its way through, but it's into the chest and held by Joseph Wall, who has not really been overly taxed here tonight. Sometimes you you need those games. Absolutely, that, that, you do. But, it's called but, it's called the Boston no. de the defense and yeah. Boston goaltending. But, but, but I meant one of those games where you don't give up a bad one at the wrong time either. Those ones, you know, there's a long wrist shot through a screen or you know. Sometimes it's one of those games you don't have to win it for us, but don't lose it for us, or you'll be doing radio for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, you know what? I think a lot of people flash, that saw you yeah, play yeah, probably yeah. were saying that it flash, to themselves too. But the that, flash, no. the, I had this flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ovechkin. Couldn't come up with a pass, and the Leafs are able to get it out at center. Reeves dropping it back into his own zone. Long lead pass looking for David Camp. That's gone astray, and it'll turn into an icing. So it's coming back into the Leaf end. Been a rather quiet crowd, is it not? Yeah, it's not had the Saturday kind of feel to it, but Buffalo Sabres, by the way, are eight points out of a playoff spot, and well, too many teams to jump over. The Leafs are there on Saturday night. They made a push, didn't they? And then and then they, they went got, out west and just they made, a got, they made a push till they got close. Yes. And a lot, that happens to a lot of teams for Florida for years. Yep. The Panthers would be out of it at that late push. I remember during that stretch of seasons where the Leafs missed the playoffs. Remember one where they remember when they went to the schedule where you would play back to back games in the same city? Yep. The Leafs lost two big games in regulation in Montreal, which put them out of it. And then John then Sebastian. Got hot. Yeah. John Sebastian Oban. You know, they lost the Saturday in Montreal, and I believe the first game Oban played was in New Jersey. And then went on that run, but the Leafs ended up missing in the last day of the season. And it cost Pat Quinn his job. Played by the Caps to center. Deflects into the Toronto zone. McCabe. Punches it back along the boards, but a pass there by Benoit went astray. It comes back to the blue line, fed back in by McMichael. Back of the net, comes back to the point. Carlson trying to keep it alive. It comes into the slot area. Sandine to Carlson, a shot. Good pad save made there by Wall. And the Leafs will get it to the line, but not out. Wall had to be paying attention there because Carlson let it go in a hurry. Always pace to pay attention if you're a goalie. What's that? <laughs> no, actually, that's fairly accurate. Yeah. And over the line, now Domi sending it down into the zone. <laughs> Soft fly. <laughs> <laughs> Leafs intercept a pass, get it in over the line. McMahon down the boards. One hands it back of the net for Tavares. Tavares to the point, long shot. Look out! Oh, that went off a body in front and then caromed off the far goal post. I was more worried about somebody wearing it as a in their mouth. Now back comes McMahon again in over the line. Dropping for Nylander. Nylander eludes one. Into the slot. Got a shot away but it was uh, partially blocked and now the Caps get it out at center ice. Flipping it to the side of the lead goal. Nylander got there. Got it to Tavares. Now Timmons Trying to chase down Obey Kubel in the corner. And a good job by McMahon to break it up the rush and get it to center. Nylander working in over the line. Still with it. Got a wrist shot away that 
Lindgren had no trouble handling. 12.38 to play in the third. Leafs have added to their lead and have a 4-1 advantage. Played down into the Toronto zone. Against the boards, played to the line. It's going to go over the boards, over the glass, off a stick. And so it'll be a face-off coming in the Toronto zone as a result. A break in the action. Leafs with a 4-1 lead. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the shot with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The points with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. Oh. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111 point pace. So they've gone head to head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Points with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter-Miami game. Messi up over and get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. Join me, Scott Lachlan, and Gord Stellick, along with former NHLer Mike Johnson for NHL Morning Skate, weekday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91. Faceoff coming in the Toronto zone. 12.27 to play in the third period. The Leafs with a 4-1 lead over the Washington Capitals, trying to sweep season series. Leafs have won 64% of the faceoffs. Probably shouldn't say that before a defensive zone faceoff, should I? John Tavares has won 10 of 12. And the Leafs are going to win this one, too. McMahon gets the puck out at center. Tavares against the boards with uh, Oshie. Puck comes free and it's launched high down into the Washington zone. Capitals were going through a bit of a we're moving to Virginia but that has fallen away. Now cleared away as Wall lost the sight of the rebound that went high in the air but cleared away for him. Now back of the net it goes to Labushkin who finds Brody who gets it ahead and Nylander couldn't get away. Played in over the line. Now here's a chance for the Capitals. Good play on the back check by the Leafs. Nylander there. Played out at center ice. McMahon waiting for teammates to get on side. Pumps it into the zone. So now they're going to spend $515 million to upgrade the Capital One Center in downtown D.C. And that'll be for both basketball and hockey. It's yep. the same ownership. And you know one of the things that absolutely astounds me that Virginia, one of the premier states, does not have a single professional sports team or major sports team. Played along the boards into the near side. It comes back to the point. Washington keeping it in with a pass and a deflection that went wide of the lead goal. In along the near boards. Reeves banging in with his man there. The puck camp trying to help out. It comes free. Back towards Carlson. Carlson to the right wing side and a shot. Blockered away nicely by Wall. Played back of the net. Reeves has it there and starts out with it with a pass ahead for David Camp. Camp back to Reeves. Reeves in over the line. Going wide. Tries to pull his way into the corner. Now stops it up. Looks back towards the blue line. Thinks better of it. Rings the boards to find Giordano. Comes back to Matthews at the blue line. Played to the far wing. And down the boards comes Domi. And it's played high off the glass to center ice. Timmons for Giordano. Dropped it back. 
played ahead. Joel Edmondson, Timothy Lilligren, Morgan Riley, not in the lineup tonight. And the defense corps has been very good. Yeah, those are the, the non-injured. Yes. Into the ill. Here's a loose puck in front. They score! A turnover, and Bertuzzi was just Johnny on the spot. Boy, you couldn't have gift-wrapped that any better. The puck was behind the Washington goal. It's turned over, and Tyler Bertuzzi has his second of the game and his 18. I believe, Joe, it was Max Domi that got into this rut. The Washington player trying to bring it out from behind his net, just as he turned the corner of the goal to start off vice, it was Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Max Domi just quickly lifts his stick and it goes onto the stick of Tyler Bertuzzi and Charlie Lindgren hadn't gotten back to the near post. Bertuzzi has his second, the Leafs have their fifth. So Tyler Bertuzzi, who last year with the Detroit Red Wings had four goals and 10 assists and then four goals and 12 assists with Boston. Has just picked up his 18th goal of the season. Second of the game. Long shot. Deflects just wide of the lead goal. That's 11 in the last 15 for Bertuzzi. And now with uh, 36 seven points as a rolling puck is swallowed up by Wall and he will stop play. The Leafs who ran rough shot over Washington earlier are doing it again here tonight as they have a five to one lead after winning seven to three back on March the 20th. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs radio network. Breaking story from Alpine News Network. Ron is a teacher helping bright minds, but this time he needed help. Alpine Credit sent a cosmic superhero with a debt consolidation loan. She conjured a magic book, Debt Consolidation 101. Lesson 1, consolidate debt into one low monthly payment. Lesson 2, nothing. It's a short book. Own your home? Need a loan? Alpine Credits can help. Alpine Credits, where homeowners get approved. Just for license 12616. And now it's time for our Subaru weather report. So, Harold, what's it looking like? Jim, it's a lovely spring day here on the beach. I came here for some solo time, like I do, but I got hungry instantly, so I went to Bob's Boardwalk Bistro when Bob says, Sorry, cash only. Luckily for me, I always have a $5 bill stashed in my sandals, so I give it to Bob and he says, We don't accept foot money here. That's Thanks, how he Harold. talks. But weather now I'm reports starving, don't matter when you drive a Subaru. You know, get... Visit your local Subaru dealer today and book a test drive during the all-weather drive event. Boston Pizza lives for the big moments. Whether the season is just starting or coming to an epic end, from nerve-wracking ninth innings to OT winners, playoff buzzer beaters to Hail Mary miracles, BP is the best place to watch the game if you can't be at the game. Great food, ice-cold Sub-Zero Coors Light, and friends. And the best part? Season seats are free. Grab your crew and cheer on the good guys at Canada's favorite sports bar, Boston Pizza. Gather round. Must be legal drinking age. Please drink responsibly. Tyler Bertuzzi with the goal to give the Leafs a 5-1 to one lead. In his first 51 games as a Maple Leaf, he had six goals. In his last 19, a dozen. Just took a little time to be acclimatized, Mr. Well, Al. I did say his last 15-11. Well, I just added to that. Who added to it? Well, uh, he did. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You're looking at your phone while I said it. I and, know. I and did. you took somebody else's stat. I did. Over mine. Well, no, I just enhanced it. You I, did. A- I added what was on in the first 50 some odd games. Think, How's that? I think you diminished well, my efforts. Wouldn't be the first time. What? <laughs> hey, a centering pass comes back to the blue line. Giordano keeping it in for Toronto. Down into the corner for Camp. And with 8.35 to go, it's played out at center ice by Washington. 42 shots for the Leafs. And as much as the Leafs gift wrapped opportunities the other way, Jake Allen was pretty good the other night, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Got yep. 42 of 45. Puck in the Washington zone. Knifed out into the center ice area. 
and cleared into the Toronto end. Hustling in after it was Mir Chishenko. It's on the boards for Pontus Holmberg. He gets it back to his defense. Benoit playing it off the boards to center, and Robertson gets it in over the line. For Nyes, didn't shoot it. Nyes into the corner for Holmberg. Pontus Holmberg back at the net. Trying to work his way clear from some checking as it goes into the near corner. Nyes helps him out as it's rung around the boards to the far side. Pinching in was Labushkin to keep it alive. At the point, Brody sends it right back to Labushkin off a skate. And the Caps are going to get it out at center, but can't connect with a forward. And the Leafs bring it right back in again. Pass in now. Here's a chance for McMahon. And that was stopped on the short side by Lindgren. Caps bring it back the other way. Obey Kubel getting it down into the Toronto zone. A long shot from a sharp angle handled easily by Wall. And an errant pass now by Washington has come all the way down into Caps territory with 7.07 to play in the third period. Played out at center ice. Capitals get it down into the zone with Malenstein. They bang it along the boards. Dug out there now by... Tavares, and Tavares' pass was intercepted. He'll get to it again, and bank it out at center. And draws a crowd on the far side, and finally relayed up on the wing for Nylander, and he'll backhand deep into Washington territory. Leafs five, and the Capitals one. And so far, a very tidy third period that has been Augmented with a couple of goals. McMahon and Bertuzzi. And at this point, Bertuzzi, it's an unassisted goal. I thought maybe Domi, like you said, Jimmy, might get an assist. Well, so far not. I mean, lifts the stick. I don't know if he can get a better assist than, without touching the puck than Max Domi did. Van Riemsdyk couldn't get into the leaf zone cleanly. And it'll be flipped by Bertuzzi back down into Washington territory. The Leafs in Buffalo on Saturday. Then they have Florida and Tampa coming to town. They go to Montreal, home against Pittsburgh, in New Jersey, home against New Jersey, home against Detroit, and finish the season with games in Florida against uh, the Panthers and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Errant pass and an icing call here against Toronto will bring the puck back into the leaf zone. Now, Leafs have had some success with Wes McCauley as an official in the regular season, but not the nine times he's officiated playoff games. No. 0 for 9. And the most recent Leaf game was against the Florida Panthers. Game five, Panthers won the game and 3-2 in overtime, won the series 4-1. Leafs win the faceoff, carry the puck out at center with Camp, getting it down into Washington territory. Linesman says... Well, we're going to be here forever. Offside? Uh, the other icing was, I thought was... A little bit questionable. No, this Five is offside. To go. Oh, this, this is offside. offside. Yeah. It's one of the other rules. <laughs> yes. Five, you can't proceed the puck into the offensive yeah. zone uh, or you're offside in the whistle blows. In most of the rule books. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. I'm Cheryl Crow. I grew up at a time when if you were a woman, you were a good musician for... A woman. Sirius XM's Women of Rock. I always found that to be really insulting. A channel of icons who broke barriers. When I saw Heart, I was just like, how do I get in this club? And the women breaking through right now. Olivia Rodrigo. This chick rocks. Hosted by Cheryl Crow. Women of Rock. Now for a limited time on Channel 79. And year-round on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hockey 24-7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. 
Sirius XM, NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91, and on your schedule with the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the Nashville Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Laughlin and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, wrist the line, and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! NHL play by play on Sirius XM. Leafs 5 and the Washington Capitals 1. It's a game that the Leafs really have managed nicely, haven't they? You can say that Washington hasn't been going on all cylinders, but the Leafs never allowed them the there's golden opportunities to get back into it. Now here's Robertson stealing. A little toe drag move, but couldn't get the shot through as it was blocked. Robertson with it in the far corner. Back to the point. A long shot was sent wide of the goal. Timmons getting it back now into the slot area. Nyes was tripped up. No call. Grabbed off again. Here's Holmberg looking to try and get it in front to Robertson. And he one-timed it just wide. Giordano playing it back into the corner and around back of the net into the far corner. Nyes got over there to get a hit in on Malenstein. And now here are the Caps in their own end trying to get it out. And they have, but they have sent it the length of the ice. And an icing call will be the end result. So when you and I have had discussions and come up with our own lineups for the postseason, we're both very comfortable having Pontus Holmberg as the number three center. And what a move he made there to go wide on the defenseman, wade him out below the goal line, and throw it out to Nick Robertson, who raised the great, goal post. Yeah, great yeah. chance. Puck rolled on him a bit. Played down into the corner off a faceoff win by the Caps, but they get it along the boards, but that's drawn a crowd. It comes back and kept in by Nylander. Nylander tries to send it to the net. That got through, and hit Lindgren. I don't think he saw it. He may have felt it, but he didn't see it. Shot back down into the Toronto end. McCabe gets it freed up for John Tavares up on the right side. Nylander starts away to the line. Works in on the right wing. Dropping for Tavares. Tavares stops it up. Tavares working back towards the blue line. Rings it in around the boards. Into the corner. Nylander comes out of the corner. Back to the point. The one-timer is into the glove of Lindgren. And will be held for another face-off in the Washington zone with three and a half minutes to go in the third period. But imagine the Capitals miss Joel Edmondson. Yeah. Strong defenseman, not in the lineup for the Leafs due to an injury. Capitals host Boston next. Then they go to Buffalo, host Pittsburgh, go to Carolina, host Ottawa, then into Detroit and Buffalo again. And then finish the season hosting Tampa, Boston, and then playing in Philadelphia, which <laughs> that game could have a lot on it by the time they get to the final game of the regular yeah. season. By well, the way, took the goal away from Philly. That must have been a goal that was under review. Oh. So it's back 2 nothing Montreal with 8.21 to go in the third period. Islanders holding on to a 3-2 lead over the Florida Panthers in the third. Uh, the other big one, Carolina leading the Red Wings 4 nothing as a third period score. So lots of uh, lots of implications when it comes to the seeding in the Eastern Conference games tonight. Draw is controlled by the Leafs in the slot. Got a shot away, but it was blocked. Here's Matthews again! And that was stopped by Lindgren. Shoot in goes right to Wall. He plays it ahead off Matthews' stick. Leafs get it ahead, and out comes the Leafs centerman. Matthews in across the line, dropping for Domi. Back in front of the net for Matthews. Doesn't shoot it. Centering pass, looking for Bertuzzi, trying to find the hat trick goal there. And it is cleared by Washington back into the Toronto end. Here's Domi. 
A saucered pass finds Matthews into the slot. Matthews with a wrist shot. That was blocked. Domi knocks it back in along the boards. Gets it handed back from Matthews. Centering pass. Matthews back to the blue line. And now a shot blockered away by Lindgren. Start tallying up how many shots on goal he's had here. He's had three in this shift. It's almost like Charlie Lindgren is Austin Matthews' catcher, right? The yes. bullpen. There's Nyes back for Matthews shooting. That was <laughs> high and wide. And out comes Ovechkin to center. Ovechkin to the left wing side trying to get around Benoit. Centering pass to flex off the stick of Matthews and goes up into the screen and out of play. And Austin Matthews now with eight shots on goal, three of them blocked. He has been a force, hasn't he? Has he ever? And he deserves a better fate. He's picked up one assist, which has him now tied with Willie Nylander for most points on the season. Both of them with 94. Pontus Holmberg works in over the line for Toronto. Little stutter step to get it back to the point. Oh, and a one-timer there exploded off Malenstein, and that would have hurt. Played down into the Toronto zone. Under two minutes to play in the game. Round back of the net. Holmberg gets it to Robertson. Robertson missed a hit over on the far side from Obe Kubel. Puck still in the Toronto zone. Far corner. Obe Kubel goes to it to get it back to the blue line. Caps keeping it in with a long shot that was blocked. Knocked off a stick. Still free. And it's played into the near corner. Played back now to the point. Jensen goes D to D. Shot goes well wide of the leave goal. Played down into the corner. Cut off by Benoit. And the Leafs turning with it as it's back into the corner for Simon Benoit. He was knocked down on the play, but covers up his man. The puck goes back to the point near side. And a long shot taken there was stopped by Wall. The puck's still free in the Leafs zone. And shot down the ice by Robertson. Uh, I, I think he had the thought that if I can get it down there. I might be able to outrace. Yeah. Again, and, and we, we nitpick sometimes, but there's another young rookie mistake. Uh, all I need to do is just flip it, get it out at center ice. We get a change. We've been in our end here for a while. Yeah. 56.2 seconds to go in the game. And this time, it is Benoit just playing it enough to get it out into neutral ice. And the change is made. Point taken. Lapierre up on the left wing. Can't get in. Dewar comes back at center for Toronto. Just playing it, trying to play it to himself in the near corner. And he gets there first to send it around to Reeves. Reeves reverses it back from whence it came. Dewar can't do much with it there. Reeves after the puck in the far side. Back along the boards. 20 seconds left to go in this one. And the Maple Leafs are going to sweep the season series from the Washington Capitals. As it comes back at center ice. Mirotyshenko getting it down into the Toronto end. Final eight seconds ticking down. And Joseph Wall is going to have a solid performance in goal as he will pick up his 11th victory of the season. You know, for Joseph Wall, you got to go back to November. I realize the time he's missed with an injury, but the last time he allowed but a single goal in a game, that was in a win over the Florida Panthers here in this building, 2-1 in a shootout. So for Joseph Wall, a good bounce back game. And for Sheldon Keith, who was critical of the team two nights ago, this is the response you would hope for, not uh, more of what we've already seen. So um, good bounce back win for the Leafs. And that game in hand against the Tampa Bay Lightning, they were able to use wisely. Use wisely and uh, enhance their spot in third in the division. And... Uh, the next action is down in the little shop of horrors in Buffalo. And that will be Saturday night. We'll have that action for you. The postgame show is coming your way after a 5-1 Toronto victory 
over the Washington Capitals. You're listening to Molson Leaf Hockey on TSN 1050 and the Maple Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Holly Bird hit the chop with no second spot. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. NHL morning skate. The general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCrimmon. Vegas so quickly has become a place where players want to go. Players appreciate that we're trying to win, and uh, I think come to expect it. It's their livelihood and all of those things that go with it. So we try to do uh, what we can to, to help that happen. NHL morning skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stone. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The Power Play with Steve Coolius. Toronto, yeah, they don't have a face card. Like, they don't have an ace. Morgan's a jack. They have so many non-face cards that these guys are going to have the bullpen by committee because the real truth is this. They got a good forward group. But if you don't defend against Boston and Florida, you're not seeing Boston or Florida in round two. That's the exam, and the test will be on this defense. The Power Play. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. Hey Toronto, I'm David Moore, Sudi, host of the daily Toronto Me Please podcast, Locked On Leafs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network on the Sirius XM app. Every weekday, we bring you the latest Leafs news and analysis, break down all the action, including this game you're listening to right now, and preview the next one. We're giving you everything a Leafs fan could want, all in a daily 30-minute podcast. Download Locked On Leafs right now on the Sirius XM app, available with all trials and popular plans, or where you get your podcast. Search Locked On. Feel the passion of Major League Soccer all season long on Sirius XM FC. Stupendously magnificent! Every week, hear all the top matches, including every Inter Miami game. Messi up over here! And get analysis and insight from our team of experts like former MVP Tony Miola. He looks so confident. It's starting to look so easy. It's Major League Soccer's biggest season ever, and you can experience it on Sirius XM FC 157 and streaming on the all-new Sirius XM app. Join me, Gord Stellick, and Scott Laughlin as we recap the night that was on NHL Morning Skate, weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind Ristol Line and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! NHL play by play on Sirius XM. The best hockey lives here. Burns gets it back, stick handles to the backhand, moves in front, score! NHL play by play on Sirius XM. Hi, this is Ray Hudson, and for all the biggest matches from Club Soccer's Holy Grail, the UEFA Champions League, tune in to Sirius XM FC 157. This is Leafs Game Night on TSN 1050 and the Leafs Radio Network. The Leafs live here. Now those are the, the non-injured. Yes. Into the yell. Here's a loose puck in front. They score! A turnover and Bertuzzi was just Johnny on the spot. Boy, you couldn't have gift-wrapped that any better. The puck was behind the Washington goal. It's turned over, and Tyler Bertuzzi has his second of the game and his 18. Oh, yes, guy. 5-1. The Leafs win over Washington. Welcome back to Scotiabank Arena. Post-game show. Jim Taddy, Josh Cloak from the Athletic, and Jimmy Ralph. Kind enough to hang around. I was surrounded by Ralphie there for a minute. Um, this was the response win everybody was looking for. Hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> and I think especially if you're Sheldon Keefe. Because, uh, you know, even Jim Montgomery said in Boston, he said, we're not ready for the playoffs. So I think it's it's time for coaches to a little friendly reminder for teams that are, are just playing for the standings uh, but are fairly comfortable in their spots that, hey, we got to turn this up. And we've got to be ready and we've got to be a little more focused. And uh, your big worry after something like that, because obviously it's Toronto, so it's going to make headlines everywhere, is what is the response? And if it was a bad one, and then you got Buffalo Saturday. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, then there's there's a lot of controversy swirling around the team. But, you know, they're able to use the uh, the game in hand against Tampa and uh, get back to four points ahead of the Lightning. Two things tonight. 
far, far, far fewer giveaways and turnovers. And they just didn't let Washington into the game. They yeah. didn't give him more than like a few minutes of life. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think they got a non-man rush tonight, Washington. I don't yeah. think they've got anything because, you know, Carolina and uh, the game against oh. New Jersey, I mean, that was wave after wave, back-to-back nights. Look, this is very much the response that was, was needed, uh, John Tavares especially. Yeah. Uh, just a, a very quiet game, which is kind of like what you're, you're, you're kind yep. of looking for. But the other thing that stuck out to me tonight, uh, and we talked about this in the second intermission, those kind of goals, not necessarily highlight real stuff, but the kind of goals that you need to score in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Even uh, even the Connor Dewar goal with uh, Ryan Reeves was booting it around, you know. But he'd gone to the front of the net. And uh, uh, the fourth line, and, uh, and I know we've talked about this before, Jim, or post game, that not that long ago, Joe and I said, okay, for fun, let's make, yeah. this, let's make the lineup for the playoffs, and let's assume everybody's healthy. Uh, so you get Yarn Kroc in the mix, you get, you get everybody back in the mix. What are your combinations? And one of the things we both agreed on was Pontus Holmberg being the number three center. And I think we've seen uh, with Holmberg, I know Austin Matthews loves him as a player and his style and everything, but I, I think you'd be very comfortable. Uh, and we saw him with a great setup late uh, for Nick Robertson as well. As Holmberg being that number three center, if, if you want to load up um, you know, the top two lines. But uh, I also think there is something between Bobby McMahon and John Tavares. They're both mm-hmm. sort yeah. of straight line players. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um you know, McMahon can can use the big frame along the boards to get pucks loose. Uh, th- there seems to be a little bit of chemistry, I think, developing b- between those two as well. There was probably a point two weeks ago where you're asking yourself if Bobby McMahon is in the playoff lineup. I don't think you ask those questions anymore. No. I think he's yeah. in there. And I just think he, he also plays, as we saw tonight, a playoff-ready game. Like you said, straight line, right in the boards, not afraid of forechecking. Uh, and we saw what happens, right? It creates yep. turnovers that lead to, to opportunities. Yeah, and is because he's got the good release yeah, uh, and pretty good hockey sense, you can see him being a guy that just has a great series. Maybe not a, a great run uh, through two and a half months going to the finals, but you say, oh, boy, that guy, remember Lonnie Bohannis in 99 or 2000 had a great series against yep. Pittsburgh he- and, and, and was a key element. So you could sort of see Bobby McMahon, is the guy when, you know, the the trade deadline was coming and the Leafs were reeling with Tavares and yep. Marner out of the lineup and he ended up getting in against St. Louis and that's when he had the hat trick. But but at that point, you're thinking, boy, they need that secondary scoring. They've got to go out and get somebody that can contribute. And uh, they were very fortunate that through illness um, and injury, Bobby McMahon got his opportunity and, and really has become that guy. Well, look, when everybody's healthy, there's three extra forwards, there's three extra defensemen, and there's an extra goalie. I mean, that's really good depth. And they yeah. all performed on the team. Yeah, and, and not only, you know, depth from um, kind of trying to safeguard yourself against injury the best you can, uh, but also options. It, it might depend on who the opponent is. Who do you think is a better matchup to go against a different opponent? If it's, uh, uh, say, it's the Florida Panthers, and you say you might need a little more toughness on the back end. Uh, then that might alter what your mindset is as opposed to, I don't know, I mean, it looks like now that it's going to be Boston or, or Florida, but obviously we've seen with the Tampa Bay Lightning hot, uh, that can change a bit. I, I still think now maybe the most important race is uh, the top spot in the East because if if you're second, you might get Tampa in the opening round. If, if uh, yeah. you know, whether right That's now right. I think the Rangers are a point up on uh, – um, leading the Eastern Conference in standings. Yes. So right now, um, you'd have the, uh, the the Rangers playing Washington and Boston or Tam- uh, or Boston or Florida would be playing Tampa the first round. And as much as much as you might say, okay, there's an advantage to the Bruins or the Panthers. You're going to you really want? You don't think uh, Andre Vasilevsky can light it up for a, a seven game series and cause you some problems in that power play? The Tampa has, so I, I think that might be the most interesting race: is who finishes first yeah. to at least temporarily avoid uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round. Tapman is sick of me talking about this, but Ralphie, I'm going to ask you again. Like oh, looking at no. tonight, <laughs> the groan heard around the world. What's going on here, guys? I know what's going to happen now. Do you, guy? Yeah, Ralphie, who do you start game one? Huh? Well. 
I, I'm, to me, that's going to be determined still down still the stretch. TBD. Yeah, I think that's the window is um, closing. The, the window is closing now. You got to get Samson off healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, for Joseph Wall, even though hardly overworked in this game, it's his first one goal against game since since back in November against the Florida Panthers. So I thought he played uh, really well. All I know is last year, and, and this is with all due respect to Elias Samsonov. But when Samsonov went down in Game 4 against Florida last year, or I guess it was Game 3, we had the convers- Joe and I had the conversation say, this might be what the Leafs need to turn it around. Joseph Wall, well, we have thought that highly yeah. of him, yeah. that he might be a spark, a good enough, instead of a concern or a question mark, we thought he could be the spark. He could. He might be able to go on one of these playoff runs, mm-hmm. um, you know, and who knows if they went in overtime in, uh, in Game 5, if the Leafs... Um, would have been able to to battle back and win the series. Uh, I, I you know I I don't know if all the other factors go in. Samsonov being an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year, you've developed Joseph Wall. I, I mean I don't know if that plays into it or not, but um, I would I would lean towards Samsonov in Game One. Yeah, but I would yeah. also say there would be a much shorter leash than uh, what there was last year. And, and Samsonov, I thought, was better on the road last year in Tampa. Uh, well, the Leafs were better on the road. They only won one out of five at home, or one out of six. And um, But I, I would probably lean towards Samsonov because of the experience, but I wouldn't hesitate to uh, to go to the bullpen in a hurry. It's, it's almost a two-part question. Like Samsonov feels like the game one starter. He's earned it this season. But if you had to play one in a game seven... Is that not a bit of a different question? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, then you look at what Boston did last year, right? Yep. yep. They play Allmark for the first six, and then they say, okay, now we got the other guy. <laughs> yeah. It was too late. Ralphie, thanks for hanging around. I'll text you when I get home. Oh, good. The last couple of games, you stiffed me. Ooh. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winky face emoji. <laughs> I thought you were going to say regulation win. Uh, never mind. Uh, so, 5 1, the Leafs win over Washington. This is Leafs game night on TSN 1050, the iHeart Radio app, and the Leafs Radio Network. And now it's time for our Subaru weather report. So, Harold, what's it looking like? Jim, we can expect more thunderstorms as the evening approaches, and then overnight. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, can I get uh, two number sixes with a side of curly fries? Hold the onions, please. Yeah. Uh, Harold. Are you in the drive-thru right now? Jim, no one listens to this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yep. Great. Weather reports don't matter when you drive a Subaru. Visit your local Subaru dealer today and book a test drive during the all-weather drive event. Breaking story from Alpine News Network. Sandra and Kabir are celebrating 50 years of marriage by turning their boring bedroom into a spicy one. Oh, my. Alpine Credit sent a super strength hero to help with a home renovation load. New floors, windows, a heart-shaped button that plays this tune. Okay, I think that's quite enough. Own your home? Need a loan? Alpine Credits can help. Alpine Credits, where homeowners get approved. Just for license 12616. Did you fix that leaky tap? Uh-huh. How about that loose doorknob? Uh-huh. Right now, we can get a free medium pizza from Two for One Pizza. Did somebody say free pizza? See, it's not just the kids that have selective hearing. Right now, get a free medium one-topping pizza with a minimum $25 purchase before tax and delivery. Limited time offer. Online orders only. Visit 2 for one and use coupon code FREEM. Leafs win 5-1. Leafs game night live from Scotiabank Arena. Tyler Bertuzzi with two goals and has 18 on the season. And uh, here he is yeah, post-game. That was, yeah, that was big for us. Um, really good first period. Um, big goal by G to get us going. And um, we didn't let off the gas and, and played a good uh, full 60. Gio's had uh, quite a rough year this year with injuries and personal stuff. Do you feel good for him to, to get a goal like that when he first came back? Yeah, definitely. Um, and just the way he works uh, on and off the ice. And, um, you know, he's been around a long time. And uh, you like to see guys like that get rewarded for, for all the hard work they put in. What was the feeling around the group the last you know, 24 hours after, after Tuesday? Uh, yeah, it was tough. Um, obviously, it was, a, it was a tough loss, but you know, you got to let it go and, and regroup and, and move on. And um, nothing you can do about it, and just uh, move forward and be focused on tonight. You're heating up at the right time. What do you sort of uh, attribute that to? Uh, I have no idea. Um, just I've been doing kind of the same thing and um, just getting lucky. What made you, you want to go for the bank shot on that first one? 
coach? Uh, I kind of saw he was a little bit off the uh, off the crease, so I kind of uh, just attempted it, and um, yeah, it worked out. Austin awesome. had nine <coughs> shots. Uh, did it feel like tonight was going to be the night? Yeah, I mean, it, it looked like it. Um, he was shooting from everywhere. Um, I think our last shift, he had like three or four in that shift. So, I mean, uh, it's going to come. Uh, we'll keep shooting. What impressed you the most about his performance overall tonight? Considering you just missed the game at the Dallas, and he wasn't doing his best today. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, it's tough uh, when you wake up and you're not feeling well. And, um, you know, obviously, he, he grinded tonight and um, came through for the team and, and had a great game. Yeah, I mean, he just brings a lot of energy and, um, you know, just working hard and keeping it simple. And um, it's good to see him get rewarded with his first his lead. Tyler Bertuzzi, 18 goals in the season. Uh, Austin Matthews. Had 14 shot attempts. Uh, this is, you know, th- this is another chapter in that book of um, you've got some stars missing. It's not a full lineup, but somehow they find a way, and, and it's happened a number of times this year. It's something to sort of make a note of. For sure, and I think this is the Tyler Bertuzzi that the Leafs acquired. Yeah. This is the Tyler Bertuzzi that the Leafs bet on to provide ample amounts of secondary scoring. Um, this is the, the the best version of Tyler Bertuzzi that we've seen because he's doing the things that, that he's done before, right? Getting to the net relentlessly. You know, when when, when Brad Tree Living talks in the offseason about acquiring more snot in the lineup, it, it wasn't the physicality. It was just that relentlessness to get to the net, you know, and, and everybody doing their part, everybody doing just a little bit more than the opposition. And we see that more and more from Tyler Bertuzzi. And, you know, to pull it back to the conversation we were having before, this is why I think you have to play him lower down the lineup because I think you are going to want to spread out your offense. Well, I think there was this um, attempt to fit in with who he was playing with before instead of being himself. Right. And and I think I wouldn't blame him for that. I I think most people that try to play on on the left side of Matthews and Marner are are prone to that. And, And you just at some point you just have to be a fit. It's, it's partly why I think Matt Nyes has been the best fit there because Matt Nyes just, he's a rookie. He's not overthinking things. He's not worried about, you know, his future and, and what things are going to look like. He's just playing. He's a rookie. He doesn't know any better. So that's why I think he's, to me, I think he's probably the best fit for that line because then again, you get to spread things out um, a little bit more. But look, if you can keep getting this Tyler Bertuzzi, right, and and you, you have to, to pair him with a, a bit of a playmaker, someone that can hold on to the puck a little bit more and allow Bertuzzi time to like just get to the net. But no one is going to complain if Bertuzzi is scoring goals off goalies' butts in the playoffs. Like, that's oh. that's the that, that's the best version of him. Sure. Well, um, I mean, that, that could be a, a huge goal just because of the way it was scored. Yeah, and look, <laughs> these are the kind of conversations that lead to wow, dude. You know, is is Tyler Bertuzzi now a long term fit? Should the Leafs be thinking about extending him? You know, if he's really starting to fit in here. Um, but you, you love the simplicity that he plays the game with. You love how well he's he's kind of meshed with teammates. Um, him and Max Domi have a great thing together, and it, it's 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 it has to feel good if you're Sheldon Keith because you just know that if your top guys aren't going you don't have to go all in on them every single night you right. need them yeah i know but you know the in the past they would have uh, given them more minutes and, and cut the lower end out i think when you look at a game like tonight and why it's so impressive like you know he's almost been out for so long but mitch marner's been out for a long time yeah and to get this kind of result without him it's impressive Leafs win 5-1. This is Leafs game night on TSN 1050, the iHeart Radio app and the Leafs Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with two seconds left. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year. Isn't that something? For action. Access to the game's greats. We lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The point with Boomer Gordon. Andrew Burnett is your Jack Adams winner. Oh. 70 points in 52 games. You project that over 82, Jake. That's an 111 point pace. So they've gone head to head with the big boys of the West all year. Andrew Burnett inherited a new GM in Barry Trotz and a sinking payroll. And he's got this team playing as well as any team in the NHL. Points with Boomer Gordon. 1 p.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. 
Hockey 24-7 on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. This is the NHL. These are pros. You don't want guys to put good power play units on, don't take penalties. You don't want good power play units to score goals when you've given up a whole bunch, kill them. You don't like it, do something about it. If you want to reward your guys who had a good game with a chance to get some more goals and points, do it. If I was a coach, I wouldn't care. Who cares? Worry about your own team, don't worry about mine. Sirius XM, NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. And on your schedule with the Sirius XM app. NHL Morning Skate. Andrew Burnett, head coach of the Nashville Predators. I think Roman Yossi gets underrated nowadays. I think maybe the consistency that he does it every year, um, you take it for granted a little bit. I mean, he's done everything in this game. His ability to raise his game is, is very unique. You know, I've been around some really good, great defensemen. Uh, he, he's right up there with them, and, and he does get over them. NHL Morning Skate with Scott Lachlan and Gord Stellar. Weekdays, 7 a.m. Eastern on NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91 and the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the game. Trying to get behind, wrist the line, and walks in, put it between his legs, shoots it, score! NHL play by play on Sirius XM. Leafs game night live from Scotiabank Arena. Just about a minute to wrap things up, so 5-1. You know, we keep talking about the, the starting lineup in the playoffs, mm-hmm. and quite frankly, that's all in the coaching staff and who they see the matchups being with, and because it'll likely be a road game, that's a different mindset, isn't it? It is, and, and that increases the need for a little bit more physicality, right, depending on who they play. As of tonight, it's Florida, so you do ask a question about like whether or not you want Ryan Reeves in there for the first few shifts. Uh, but if you can also get the team playing the way they did against Edmonton, perhaps yeah. that won't matter. Yeah, it's an interesting time. Uh, obviously a big uh, comeback win in terms of response from the previous loss and on to Buffalo on Saturday night, which is always precarious at best it, it is but then you look ahead to the week after you've got florida and tampa at home yeah. games that could dictate you know essentially where all three of those teams finish in the final standings josh thanks for your help tonight anytime happy to be here josh cloak from the athletic uh, this is leafs game night on tsn 1050 in the Leafs radio network you've been listening to nhl play-by-play on sirius xm Head over to Sirius XM NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM 91, for the best hockey talk. The head coach reminds uh, reminds them of it, and then they get right back to playing uh, the way they need to play uh, the next day. I mean, it's tough to look a guy like Rod in the eye and cheat the guy on effort. But look, man, when when we have Don Waddell on the brunch, I keep telling folks, you got to listen because he basically just comes out and tells us what he's going to do. He, we had him on a couple of weeks ago, and he said, well, like I like our team, but I think we need to improve it a little bit. I want to go out and get a, a forward. I'd love to get a centerman, and uh, that's exactly what he did. Um, what does it tell you about uh, the activity that he got up to at the deadline, uh, that the Canes went out and got a guy like Jake Ansel and got a guy like Evgeny Kuznetsov? So, I guess about where they feel this team is at in terms of its ability to contend for a Stanley Cup. Well, Dave, I'm going to use a phrase that had a lot of the Canes fans kind of wringing their hands and rolling their eyes, which is this front office, this coaching staff, liked the group, meaning they had confidence in the guys who were there who were on the ice with how they were playing. But these two moves, because as everybody's saying, it's uncharacteristic for Carolina to do what they've done, maybe at the trade deadline, but it hasn't been uncharacteristic for this team to go out in the offseason and add pieces, adding, you know, since... Don Waddell has been named the, the general manager of the team, and, and you've got Rod Brindamore as coach. This is a group that's gone out and made a big trade where they traded Elias Lindholm and Noah Hannafin to bring in Dougie Hamilton and Michael Furland and the rights to Adam Fox. You know, they've, te- they've taken big swings. Uh, they did make a big deal, two big deals, a few seasons ago when they brought in Vinny Trocek and Brady Shea. So it's kind of this misnomer that they hadn't gone all in the last few uh, as we were going to go playoff runs. And, you know, the funny thing about it is this team wins every year in the postseason. It's not mm-hmm. like they're one and out. You know, it's not like they're being swept. They've got two Eastern Conference final appearances in, in the last five seasons. So I, I don't know about, you know, the metric system math, but that seems pretty good to me. But you're also in this, this phase of if you don't get to the Stanley Cup final, what did your season do? Did you do enough? And I think that they looked around and saw what the prices were for that center and for a playmaker, a game-breaker in Jake Gensel. Both Kuznetsov and Gensel are playoff performers. You you take a look. The track record is there. The history is there. 
on the court and off. Your home for the NBA is Sirius XM. Follow all the drama as your favorite team vies for it all. Sirius XM NBA Radio. Sirius XM 86. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM NHL schedule for Thursday, March the 28th. All times are Eastern, and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In the NHL, 7 p.m., Montreal Canadiens take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Canadians on XM221, Internet 935, Flyers on Internet 941. 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Penguins face the Columbus Blue Jackets. Penguins on XM223, Internet 942, Blue Jackets on Internet 928. 7 p.m., Toronto Maple Leafs take on the Washington Capitals. Maple Leafs on Sirius and XM channels 91, Internet 947, Capitals on Internet 950. 7 p.m., Ottawa Senators take on the Chicago Blackhawks. Senators on XM222, Internet 940, Blackhawks on Internet 926. 7 p.m., Florida Panthers face the New York Islanders. Panthers on XM220, Internet 932, Islanders on Internet 938. 7.30 p.m., Carolina Hurricanes face the Detroit Red Wings. Hurricanes on XM219, Internet 925, Red Wings on Internet 930. 8 p.m., Winnipeg Jets face the Vegas Golden Knights. Jets on XM205, Internet 951, Knights on Internet 949. 8 p.m., St. Louis Blues take on the Calgary Flames. Blues on XM206, Internet 945, Flames on Internet 924. 8 p.m., Minnesota Wild take on the San Jose Sharks. Wild on XM207, Internet 934, Sharks on Internet 943. 9 p.m., Colorado Avalanche take on the New York Rangers. Avalanche on XM204, Internet 927, Rangers on Internet 939. 9 p.m., Edmonton Oilers take on the LA Kings. Oilers on Sirius and XM channels 167, Internet 931. Kings on Internet 933. 10 p.m., Vancouver Canucks face the Dallas Stars. Canucks on Sirius and XM channels 91, Internet 948. Just Stars on Internet 929. 10 p.m., Seattle Kraken face the Anaheim Ducks. Kraken on XM 220, Internet 944. Ducks on Internet 920. 10.30 p.m., Arizona Coyotes take on the Nashville Predators. Coyotes on XM 219, Internet 921. Predators on Internet 936. Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 brings you expert analysis from former players, coaches, and executives, plus reaction to all the latest news on the only 24-7 station dedicated to the National Football League. Some hockey observers expressed surprise at just how busy Colorado Avalanche general manager Chris McFarland was as the trade deadline approached. But talking to host Dave McCarthy on the Sunday brunch on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM Channel 91, Avs television broadcast crew member Kyle Keefe says McFarland simply knew what the team needed to remain Western Conference contenders and was doing his job in trying to get it. Why do you think general manager Chris McFarland was as active as he was? Well, it's, it's kind of funny because I go back to the 2019-2020 Tampa Bay Lightning and the, and the guys that they picked up with all of the talent that they had. And I, you know, I think that the Avalanche learned in 2022 that depth and the idea of being an angry team wins in the postseason. You can have all the talent in the world. If you don't have those guys that will stick their teeth into something, you're, you're, you're not going to make it past round two. And I think they addressed that, certainly with Brandon Duhame and Yach Trennan. And I, I think that, 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 that idea that the third and fourth line can cause problems for other teams is, a, is the biggest sort of ingredient in winning long, drawn-out series against other teams and I think that those two guys added that grit as soon as you said it I'm like yeah that's the avalanche yeah. right like there is this vibe about and I, I think it probably comes from Nate McKinnon right like he always 100%. seems like he's in a, in an angry mood and not in a bad way but just like ultra determined and clearly just not here for a good time and lollipops and rainbows like he's here to take a pound out of you and stand over you and scream at you while he's doing it and and i really do think that filters on down through the team exactly and 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 to be honest it filters through the media I mean, I there, look. I've I don't know about that because you and Moj and McGahey and well, Katie are always <laughs> perpetually very effervescent individuals. We, I okay, I would agree with you, but there is a uh, timidness, if, for lack of better words, <laughs> that you go around Nathan McKinnon that you're going to respect him no matter what. So the joking sort of takes a back seat when you're around him because he 
you know, I'm not saying he's not a fun loving guy, but it's all business with yeah. him. And, and I think, you know, who's going to benefit the most maybe from this. And I, I hesitate to say it a little bit cause I'm not sure exactly of the culture in Buffalo, but Casey Middlestat, I think will benefit from being around Nathan McKinnon and sort of the attitude that there is one way, there is one direction, there is one goal. And it's too, it's too often used as a cliche, but I'm not kidding when I say that Nathan McKinnon is an absolute bulldog in everything that he does. And it is a, it's infectious, and everybody in the locker room knows it. You respect it. You get on board. You're part of it. And when, when you were talking about angry, it is an angry thing, and it, it doesn't stop. And I, even after they won the Cup in 2022, I felt like he wanted another game almost. It's, it's almost <laughs> like he wasn't done playing. And, and that, that's sort of the attitude that I think this team has taken on because of Nate. And so angry might be the best way to describe it. Follow every second of the action on NHL Network Radio. From behind the bench to every play on the ice. If it's hockey, it's on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM NHL schedule for Thursday, March the 28th. All times are Eastern, and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In the NHL, 7 p.m., Montreal Canadiens take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Canadians on XM221, Internet 935, Flyers on Internet 941. 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Penguins face the Columbus Blue Jackets. Penguins on XM223, Internet 942, Blue Jackets on Internet 928. 7 p.m., Toronto Maple Leafs take on the Washington Capitals. Maple Leafs on Sirius and XM channels 91, Internet 947, Capitals on Internet 950. 7 p.m., Ottawa Senators take on the Chicago Blackhawks. Senators on XM 222, Internet 940, Blackhawks on Internet 926. 7 p.m., Florida Panthers face the New York Islanders. Panthers on XM 220, Internet 932, Islanders on Internet 938. 7.30 p.m., Carolina Hurricanes face the Detroit Red Wings. Hurricanes on XM 219, Internet 925, Red Wings on Internet 930. 8 p.m., Winnipeg Jets face the Vegas Golden Knights. Jets on XM 205, Internet 951, Knights on Internet 949. 8 p.m., St. Louis Blues take on the Calgary Flames. Blues on XM 206, Internet 945, Flames on Internet 924. 8 p.m., Minnesota Wild take on the San Jose Sharks. Wild on XM 207, Internet 934, Sharks on Internet 943. 9 p.m., Colorado Avalanche take on the New York Rangers. Avalanche on XM 204, Internet 927, Rangers on Internet 939. 9 p.m., Edmonton Oilers take on the LA Kings. Oilers on Sirius and XM channels 167, Internet 931. Kings on Internet 933. 10 p.m., Vancouver Canucks face the Dallas Stars. Canucks on Sirius and XM channels 91, Internet 948. The Stars on Internet 929. 10 p.m., Seattle Kraken face the Anaheim Ducks. Kraken on XM 220, Internet 944. Ducks on Internet 920. 10.30 p.m., Arizona Coyotes take on the Nashville Predators. Coyotes on XM 219, Internet 921. Predators on Internet 936. Hear it all on demand. Your favorite shows, your favorite games. Don't miss a second of your favorite Sirius XM programming on demand with the Sirius XM app. Download it now for free. While most of the attention is on the NHL's upcoming postseason, Jason Greger, host of the Jason Greger Show on Sports 1440 AM in Edmonton, joins Dave McCarthy on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM Channel 91, to talk about a club that may not see playoff action for some time. Greger says the recent deal that saw the San Jose Sharks send forward Thomas Hurdle to the Las Vegas Golden Knights should have set off alarm bells for Sharks fans. Two years ago, the Sharks were bad, but the organization didn't want to admit it. And so now, like, retaining salary for six years, I know it's only 17%, but it's still, like, man, like, so the Sharks are going to be terrible again, Dave, next year. And they can't even, they, even if they want to trade off some of their players, they won't be able to retain any salary next trade deadline because they have Burns, Carlson, and Hurdle on retention. They can't do it. Exactly, and then they've got uh, two of those slots used up all really almost till the end of time with Carlson and now Thomas Hurdle. Like, does that almost tell you? Is that a message being sent from San Jose to to the fan base, to the players, being like, "Folks, buckle up! It is going to be some time uh, before we get good again." Because, like, I, I like what you said. That's a real cautionary tale. 
uh, for Pittsburgh, what it would have meant if they had have signed Jay Gensel this year. It would have been the Thomas Hurdle situation from a couple of years ago. Okay, they ended up getting there first, but what you've done is you've burnt two years in the process and haven't moved your organization forward. Like You do have to look reality in the eye sometimes and recognize when you're not good and make decisions that you maybe would rather not make, but no, you have to. So at least Pittsburgh made the right call on, on that situation with Gensel. But is that to you a signal in San Jose that it's still going to be a long time before they're any good? Go, oh, Dave. They've missed this, this will be, I think, five years in a row they missed the playoffs. Um, and I, I'll say, like, so, because this is the first year they finally admitted their rebuild. So um, to me, I'll tell Sharks fans, you might have another seven years before you're a playoff team. Like, look at their team. Like, who, who do they have? Like, which prospects do they have coming? Will Smith? Other than that, who else? Um, they're probably going to have to hope that, uh, that they are terrible and then they win the draft lottery in, in, in two years and get the young kid out of Madison Hat. His name escapes me right now. It's absolutely killing it as a 16-year-old. Um, but, you know, that's kind of where they're at, man. Um, they've they got all those bad – like, Logan Couture. Now, the concern about Logan Couture, Davis, his career might be over. Um, you know, health wise mm-hmm. for him. So, you know, he'd be, so they'll have an LTI space, but they're not going to spend at a cap. Like why would they? The team's terrible. So um, what they have to do is try to at least get guys on short term deals like Chicago's doing right to, to at least give a semblance of professionalism in your room around your young players, have guys like Nick Foligno and other guys who are true pros, you know, and you pay them four million a year because you got all the cap space in the world. But like, like Vlasic's a seven million dollar player. Hasn't been a seven million dollar player for four years. Like, you know, there's another cautionary tale of. I think the one mistake in hockey, and more organizations need to inherit the Bill Belichick, and 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 bordering on Vegas. Vegas is the one team that isn't afraid to be like, hey, nothing personal here. But guess what? If we don't think you can do it anymore, like they went out and got Thomas Hurdle, basically telling the guys on their team now, well, we're not going to resign all. Like Jonathan Marshall, you're probably done. Right, like they don't yeah. have money. Uh, they can't. They can't afford them. The PGA Tour comes to life on Sirius XM. It's your destination for everything on the tour. Hear live hole by hole coverage and expert analysis. PGA Tour Radio, Sirius XM ninety two. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM NHL schedule for Thursday, March the twenty eighth. All times are Eastern, and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In the NHL, 7 p.m., Montreal Canadiens take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Canadians on XM221, Internet 935, Flyers on Internet 941. 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Penguins face the Columbus Blue Jackets. Penguins on XM223, Internet 942, Blue Jackets on Internet 928. 7 p.m., Toronto Maple Leafs take on the Washington Capitals. Maple Leafs on Sirius and XM Channels 91, Internet 947, Capitals on Internet 950. 7 p.m., Ottawa Senators take on the Chicago Blackhawks. Senators on XM 222, Internet 940, Blackhawks on Internet 926. 7 p.m., Florida Panthers face the New York Islanders. Panthers on XM 220, Internet 932, Islanders on Internet 938. 7.30 p.m., Carolina Hurricanes face the Detroit Red Wings. Hurricanes on XM 219, Internet 925, Red Wings on Internet 930. 8 p.m., Winnipeg Jets face the Vegas Golden Knights. Jets on XM 205, Internet 951. Knights on Internet 949. 8 p.m., St. Louis Blues take on the Calgary Flames. Blues on XM 206, Internet 945. Flames on Internet 924. 8 p.m., Minnesota Wild take on the San Jose Sharks. Wild on XM 207, Internet 934. Sharks on Internet 943. 9 p.m., Colorado Avalanche take on the New York Rangers. Avalanche on XM 204, Internet 927. Rangers on Internet 939. 9 p.m., Edmonton Oilers take on the LA Kings. Oilers on Sirius and XM channels 167, Internet 931. Kings on Internet 933. 10 p.m., Vancouver Canucks face the Dallas Stars. Canucks on Sirius and XM channels 91, Internet 948. The Stars on Internet 929. 10 p.m., Seattle Kraken face the Anaheim Ducks. Kraken on XM 220, Internet 944. Ducks on Internet 920. 10.30 p.m., Arizona Coyotes take on the Nashville Predators. Coyotes on XM 219, Internet 921. Predators on Internet 936. Sirius XM has soccer covered end-to-end. Sirius XM FC.
Hear live play-by-play and talk shows hosted by legends of the game. It's Sirius XM FC on Channel 157. The rebuild continues in La Belle Provence. Connor McKenna is one of the co-hosts on the morning show on TSN 690 All Sports Radio in Montreal. And he joins Boomer Gordon on The Point on NHL Network Radio, Sirius XM Channel 91, to go over another season of rebuilding for the Canadians. I sometimes don't know where the Montreal Canadiens are in their development. When you assess this season, what do you think Habs management wanted this season to be? And if you are giving them true serum, even though it's not going to be a playoff year, do do you think enough good things are happening right now that they would consider this year a success? Uh, Short answer, yes. And, uh, you know, longer answer is that Martin St. Louis was interviewed yesterday, and he really has been such a, a pleasure to cover and to listen to um, and his insights been so appreciated and you know he was musing about the last time the Canadians and Bruins played each other and brought up the fact that the game went into the third period with the Bruins up a goal and then things uh, got out of hand I think is what he says and everybody in the room kind of had a laugh what happened was the Bruins scored four unanswered goals and beat the Canadians 9-4 uh, and he talked about how that was a bit of a wake-up call for the group that they really came together and played a lot uh, better in, in the aftermath of that game but I was kind of marveling at the fact that this is a team that finished 32nd two years ago 28th last year sit 27th in the standings right now and the head coach is musing humorously and getting laughs about a blowout loss against their arch rivals and nobody's in this city is batting an eyelash you know people feel so good about the group that's running the show and believe in them that the fan base is is on board it's it's kind of an amazing thing to see because i don't think in the history of the montreal canadians we haven't really seen a rebuild we don't know where this road ends but i'd say that overall of course there are some dissenting voices out there who want to win now but i'd say overall the the buy-in from the fan base is remarkable well, my thought is I think the rebuild should end soon, Connor, and this is one of the things I wanted to get in with you. It feels like the Canadians have been stockpiling draft picks for about eight years now, and the reason it feels that way is because they have been, and it's great to have a lot of picks. And I know there was a GM change a few years ago, so maybe you draw a line between the Bergevin era and the new administration, kind of a rebuild out of a rebuild, but at some point, We need to transfer those picks into players, and I know they're doing that now, and we got to turn those players into wins. So if I was a Montreal Canadian fan watching the deadline thinking, okay, great, we acquired a couple more picks, but we already have tons of picks. We have tons of picks this year, next year. At some point, we're going to need to win some hockey games is what I'm saying. Yeah, I I think, you know, I saw Ken Hughes being interviewed about this during the uh, intermission on TSN the other night. And he told Kenzie Lalone that the goal for next season is to be competitive and certainly not to finish in a spot where you're drafting fifth, sixth, or seventh overall again. And I think that's the way you handle that if you're Ken Hughes. You don't want to get into those kind of waters where you're saying, you know, the goal next year is the playoffs. Well, if you do that in a market like this with the kind of scrutiny that the team is under and that every word the general manager utters is under, and you don't make the playoffs, or even if you say we want to compete for a playoff spot, and then you don't compete for a playoff spot, they're going to hold your feet to the fire. Follow every second of the action on NHL Network Radio. From behind the bench to every play on the ice. If it's hockey, it's on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM NHL schedule for Thursday, March the 28th. All times are Eastern, and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In the NHL, 7 p.m., Montreal Canadiens take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Canadians on XM221, Internet 935, Flyers on Internet 941. 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Penguins face the Columbus Blue Jackets. Penguins on XM221, 